shirts today. My wife bought me a bunch of crystal shirts a bunch of months ago. And I like to wear them because we like crystals. So uh, thanks for joining us. It's been a nice week over here at Throwing Stones. We've had lots of uh, new material come in. Uh, next week I think we will probably be showing some of that new material that came in. Uh, I've got um, some really interesting mining projects going on in Zambia. Uh, I've been working in Zambia for about six years, and we finally uh, have the fruits of our labor. Uh, we've been getting material pretty consistently for six years and always working on new mining claims and whatnot, and I've got one that's pretty exciting that we've got some uh, the first big sample of it, and we're going to be showing it off next week, so make sure you join us. Uh, this whole process is new for us. This is our second live show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're expecting to do these at least once a week and possibly more. I'm not sure if we will always be doing them on Sunday night. We might shift it up um, just based on schedule and life and navigating all of the live show situations. I know everybody has a different approach and a different way to go about things. So, yeah, uh, like I said, it's been a great week. We had lots of stuff come in this week. I had three pallets come in from India, lots of commercial material. We got lots of restocks going into the Etsy shop. Got material coming in from Zambia. I've got some stuff that came back from my cleaner this week. Um, a little bit of Ahuite, and there's some other stuff that I'll be unboxing this week, which is cool. Maybe I'll do an unboxing uh, video sometime in the middle of the week, a short one just to be like, hey, check this out. Uh, we've We've always got stuff going in, coming in uh, a couple times a week. We've got parcels, I'm always buying all over the world. Every day and the first thing in the morning, I'm getting on my phone and communicating with Indonesia and China and South Africa and really just uh, trying to navigate all of the different places that the stones come from and bring them to you. Uh, we've done lots of traveling. Uh, I've got 50 international trips under my belt, and we are a true source to retail business. Uh, we are very interested in bringing the material directly out of the ground uh, so that we know that it's ethically sourced and we know where it comes from, we know who it comes from, and all the hands that it passes through. It's very important to us. Um, we're very involved in making sure that we are providing real stones. I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of doubts and skepticism out there about some companies and or just stones in general. There's lots of fakeries and whatnot. So we do a lot of uh, exposing that and, and really uh, ensuring that what we provide is real and helping others to uh, navigate that as well. So thanks again for joining us. How do you collect stuff from in India? Do you know the best places? Um, well, go to the mining regions and talk to the miners. That's really the best way to go about it. 
I think I'm gonna turn the camera around and start showing you guys some rocks. And we'll see how it goes tonight. Last time I ran way over time and Instagram kicked us off, which is fine. Uh, that's what happens when we're new and when I talk too much. So we're gonna try to be a little bit more efficient with our time this weekend. And we might run out of rocks, we might not. I've got some stuff that I didn't show last week and we will go from there. So the first thing that I am going to show you tonight is Moldavite rings. This is something that came in a couple of weeks ago. And we've gotten them prepped and ready for you now. We've got two different styles. We've got all the sizes, as you can see. Uh, we do probably have half sizes as well. I know that there's a little bit of discrepancy with some of these. These are not all five, six, seven. There's some half sizes in here as well. Um, gonna make this really easy. This entire tray is gonna be $60 a piece. And uh, I'm gonna show you this also. We, let me get this light. Uh, anybody who buys a piece of Moldavite, a ring from us tonight is going to get a free Moldavite chip included in the deal. Uh, these are little tiny chips um, with Moldavite. It doesn't matter the size, so the energy is all really strong and really powerful. Uh, these are definitely guaranteed to be real. Uh, a lot of these do have cuts on them. These are some trimmings, but these are free. And we uh, have a, a plan. I got quite a bunch of this material, and I've seen some other people selling it. Uh, I got this from some cutters who, you know, had been putting aside the little bits and stuff for a long time over to the side, and I bought a few kilos, and I've decided I'm going to give most of it away. So be on the lookout. Um, we have a plan to... At some point in the near future, we're going to be giving away potentially five pieces of Moldavite every single day. And maybe even for an entire year, we're going to be giving Moldavite away. Uh, the goal is to break the internet. <laughs> Not really, but uh, you know how it goes. Moldavite's been really viral and it's really hard to get. And there's tons of people out there who want it. And it's not very easy to obtain in quantity and the supplies are dwindling. And so instead of worrying about selling every one of these, uh, we had some that we put aside that we're gonna make jewelry out of, but we are going to be giving away literally thousands of pieces of Moldavite over the next however long, however long it takes us to sell it and to give it away. Um, I think we probably have 5,000 pieces that we're gonna be giving away. So stay tuned for that. Um, Back to it though, everybody who buys a ring from us gets a free piece of Moldavite tonight. And if you, if I'm in a good mood on some of the other stuff, maybe I'll give you a piece of Moldavite if you buy something else too. So back to it. The first item is this tray of Moldavite rings. These are $60 each. There's two different types. They're very simple. Um, the only difference between these is the shape of the Moldavite. There's a round one and there is an oval one. And that's pretty much it. Show us something most expensive. We'll get to that, my friend, don't worry. Um, I do have some more expensive stuff. We've got lots of stuff. So if anybody's interested, these are gonna stay on the table at any time. If you want to call out a row and then a size, um, if you, these are pretty much the same, so if you do want to see a few up close, I'm more than happy to show the differences between them, um, but they are very similar. And if you just wanted to call out, hey, Moldavite type one, small rings, I need a size 10, and we will definitely pull that aside for you. So for those of you that are just joining us, we are giving away a free piece of Moldavite with every purchase of Moldavite jewelry. Do we do afterpay? Yes, we do do afterpay. We would be setting up our uh, orders through Shopify, through our website in order to do afterpay. Um, we're still working out the kinks for that, but that should be available. And uh, it, we may not 
be as speedy as we would like in regards to getting you the invoices, but we will do that. We have some people that work uh, through the night. They're night owls, and we definitely can get that arranged for you. So, um, so for those of you just joining us, yep, I did. Mold, got some Moldavite rings. It's two different styles. These are $60 a piece. Call out a size and we will set you up. If you have one in particular that you want to see, happy to show you that. And I'm going to leave this on the table so that you will be reminded that it's available. What's up, Lincoln? How you doing, man? Thank you all for joining us. So this is the first Moldavite ring that we're gonna offer. And the second Moldavite type that we're gonna offer is this style. And it's also very similar. Each one is very similar in style. There's a few different shapes here. We got some ovals, got a teardrop, a little bit of rounds. Sizes are here. Um, I do think that we have half sizes in here, so if you need a half size. I do have more of these as well, of this particular type. The other one I don't have anymore, I just have that tray. So if you need a specific size, we might even have quarter sizes. I can't guarantee you that we'll have all the sizes, but we definitely have a good range of availability. So these rings are going to be $85. And you get a free piece of Moldavite chip with every purchase of a ring. And here's those again. So, I'm ready to take your orders. <laughs> Whenever you'd like to see a ring or to call out a size, you feel free to do that and you can do that at any time of the show. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you these up close. Those of you just joining us, we're doing Moldavite rings. These are $85 a piece. They are mostly similar. There's a triangle at the top. We have all the sizes that you need. Yeah, D, I can here. Let's, let me show you, uh, for example. So. It's all sterling silver. Most of the styles are similar to this. There are, yeah, let's see, most of them are like that. And the stones vary just a little bit in size and there's a few different shapes, but for the most part, they're ovals. Let's see, mostly ovals. There's a couple of different styles like this one, for example, is different with a different band, but not too much variance. So again, here's the sizes. For all of you that are just joining us now, we're selling Moldavite rings for $85 and you get a free Moldavite chip to go with it. And in order to claim, well, I guess I should have made a comment here and let's do that. In order to claim uh, this particular item, you just call out a size, and this is type 2, that's type 1 here. And if you have a specific, specific one that you want to see, I'm happy to pull a specific one as well. I'm going to go ahead and type a little message here to, to claim... skew and price this is for most of the other items for moldavite rings call it out type one or two and a size free moldavite chip 
with each purchase of ring. Okay. Gotta do that. Gotta pin it. Awesome. Uh, the price, thanks Nicole, the price of this is $85 and you get a free Moldavite chip with that. And we also, for those of you just joining us, we have these, these are $60. And the information is there at the bottom so you can call out the price. Sorry, call out the type one or type two for Moldavite ring and we are happy to pull a size for you. And again, people keep joining us, so I'm gonna keep saying it. Sorry for those that are still with us. You get a free Moldavite chip with every purchase of a Moldavite ring. These are $85, these are $60. I'll show you a couple close up. So there's two in the smaller size. These are mini rings, there's rounds and ovals. And I hope we put those back right. Yeah, what? What's up? Huh? Yeah, it's fine. And for the other types, most of these are oval shape. Pretty simple bale. Not bale, sorry. Pretty simple bezel set. Uh, it's all in sterling silver. And there are a couple of random size uh, a couple of random shapes in this tray but all the other ones in the other tray there's only two shapes and it's pretty straightforward so hope that helps emily the fay uh, so i'm going to leave that in the background and i'm going to try to not turn my light off anymore so the next thing i want to show is a moldavite bracelet these are faceted stones. Uh, all of our Moldavite is guaranteed to be authentic. We have been buying Moldavite directly from the Czech Republic since 2003. Um, I went to some of the sites in 2003 and 2004 and bought from a bunch of miners and I have lots of contacts in the Czech Republic. So you have nothing to worry about as far as authenticity. Uh, we do have certificates I know that anybody can print a certificate and the people that are making fake Moldavite are also providing certificates, but I can assure you that what we are providing is authentic and natural Moldavite. Um, we are somewhat experts at Moldavite as well as lots of other minerals and authenticity is really important to us. Uh, we've done a good bit of exposing fake Moldavite on the internet. Yes, it was a lot cheaper in 2003. You wouldn't believe the pieces that I have in my collection. I paid 4 and $5 a gram for stuff that is probably $50, $60 a gram now. And that's just how it goes. It's the nature of the rock business. It's the nature of supply and demand. When there's a finite market for something, uh, prices go up. When supply goes down and demand goes up. Everybody says, oh, I blame TikTok. They're ruining the Moldavite market. It's actually not true. The Czech government is the main, uh, I wouldn't say culprit. It's not their fault, but they are responsible uh, for not issuing mining permits and for cracking down on uh, artisanal mining, which is basically people running around in the woods with a shovel. There's still plenty of people who walk around in the fields and pick up Moldavite after the tractors go, to, go by and whatnot. So there is a little bit of artisanal mining. Um, D, the size of this bracelet, I only have one bracelet that I'm showing tonight. I do have a few more. Um, I don't have them handy, but this bracelet is seven and five eighths of an inch. It's 7.4 grams and it's $425. And you will be getting a free Moldavite chip, maybe a couple, if you purchase the bracelet. So in order to claim, um... L465, 7.4 grams, $425. Uh, I mean, do you want to put it on? <laughs> no, I think it's okay. So, the Moldavite bracelet is available. And I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to leave that here. 
Yeah, Tess, it's really nice. This is really good. Really good quality, nicely faceted. Definitely authentic. And we're gonna leave this right here, $425. Um, to go with that, if you're so inclined, I have this necklace in very similar style. This is faceted beads, very nice quality. Very nicely cut. Guar guaranteed authentic. Um, this is with a sterling silver clasp and it also has an extender. The bracelet is $425 and it comes with a free Moldavite chip. So the necklace is 17 inches and then it has a two inch extender right there. So it goes from 17 to 19 inches. Welcome Shirley, nice to have you. Uh, and there is a little extra bead here on the end, kind of like a tassel bead, so to speak. Uh, so again, here's the Moldavite necklace and there's the Moldavite bracelet. So the Moldavite necklace, I keep bumping this. <laughs> The Moldavite necklace. Here's the information on that. It's L464, 17 inches plus two, seven, 16.7 grams, $835. If you are inclined to buy them both, I can round down a little bit and I will definitely be throwing in multiple free chips of Moldavite. So if you end up deciding that you want both of them, it's a really nice set. Uh, 835 and 425 together. I'm gonna do these for 1150 as a pair plus a couple of free Moldavite chips. The Real Rock Dealer, yes, thank you for joining us. I'll go back to these for a minute. There's two different styles of Moldavite rings. We have all the sizes. This is a mini size, they're $60 comes with a free Moldavite chip. And this other style, this is $85. And these are the sizes. We might have some half sizes as well. The bracelet is seven and five eighths of an inch. D, if you want it to be a little bit smaller, I'm pretty sure we can arrange that. Uh, I do have a few people who can probably help with that. We have to figure out the clasp part, though. Can you do that on the bracelet? I think we can do that, D. If you want the bracelet, I'm pretty sure we can resize it for you without an issue. Might take us a day or two extra to get your order out the door, but for those of us who purchased from us last week, uh, everybody got their orders on Wednesday, I believe. Um, we have a shipping team of 15 people, and we built an entire fulfillment center. Uh, we're selling uh, 150 to 250 packages a day online and at the peak seasons sometimes 300 to 400 packages a day and we broke our record of last week uh, we got 622 packages out in one day and that blew all of our minds <laughs> yay claps in the background <laughs> Um, yeah, we were, I was amazed. Now I will say that a lot of those packages were only, uh, one item per order, but we definitely surprised ourselves, and we got 622 packages out in one day. Um, it just so happens that my manager, it was the day before his birthday and his birthday is 622 and we, his goal was 600 for the day and they just kept going and they got to 622 and he was like, oh my gosh, that's my birthday. And so, you know, no coincidences. He was really happy. I was really happy. I was a little bit surprised. Um, so we are we are very geared up to get your packages out the door really quickly. We built an entire fulfillment center so that we can do that. And I would almost say that we're probably one of the fastest shippers out there um, because that's the bulk of what we have going on. We have a really large team for processing and for shipping and 
We are in service to you. We are a service to others based business. And what that means is that we put our customers first. Uh, we put our suppliers first. I put my employees first. I put everything back into this business. And uh, my wife and I actually sacrificed a lot more. We could easily just keep a bunch of the money for ourselves and run off with it and take f fancy vacations and buy fancy cars and all that stuff. And we don't do that because that's not what we're interested in doing. Uh, we are a service to others based business and we believe that that is the premise for the evolutionary process that we're going through right now, the shift that's taking place in our planet and in our world. Um, I believe that basically being in service to others means coming from the heart and being in the heart chakra and opening and expanding that. And we predominantly have been living in a in a world that lives in an imbalance of the third chakra, which is the power and oppressive centers. And I think that we are, as a species, shifting up and away from that. And so we are doing our best as a business and as a team to really promote that. And through our own actions, um, we are here to cater to your needs and to help facilitate whatever shift you have going on in your world and in your life through the mineral kingdom. Okay, so the Moldavite is here. I'm going to keep it off to the side a little bit, and I'm going to move on to some other stones because there's a lot to show tonight, and I could probably talk a lot more than I should. But, so this is in the background, for those of you who may think about it again, and for those who may join in the future, the Moldavite's there, we can always revisit it. Okay, so, what do I want to do next? Um, should we do Roto? What do y'all want to see next? Do you want to see Rhodocrosite, Tiffany Stone, or Ahoite? I think those are the three main options right now. Miss the second Moldavite rings. Do you have size fives in the bigger ones? Yes, we have fives. And actually, we have fives and fours in this. I have four, four and a half, five, five and a half. Uh, they're not shown here, but I didn't have a tray that had fours and fives on it. But I definitely have uh, smaller rings, too. So we can provide all the way down to that. <laughs> so, one person said Ahoite, one person said Tiffany, one person said Rhodocrosite. Um, Ahoite was first, so we're going we're gonna to do that. Uh, let me see. I think I'm actually going to keep this off to the side and do this one at a time. All right, so Ahoite. For those of you who don't know about Ahoite or my experience with Ahoite, um, Ahoite is one of the most important heart chakra stones and one of the most powerful metaphysical stones on the planet. It's also really very exciting for collectors. Uh, Ahoite is a copper silicate. That is a pretty rare copper silicate. It's very, very similar in chemistry to chrysocolla and shatakite um, and papagoite. Uh, chrysocolla is the most common copper silicate. Most people know what that is. Ahoite. Uh, is only one oxygen molecule away from chrysocolla, and it also contains potassium. And it's a very special mineral, so uh, I will talk and move at the same time. This is $100. It's $397 if you want to claim. It is about an inch and a half. It has a little bit of ahoite here. And on all the ahoite, I will also give a free moldavite chip with every purchase. Because why not? We have a lot of Moldavite chips to give away. So that is the first Ahoite, $397 if you would like to claim. It's $100. And I definitely will go back over these. What's the head smack, Bill? What's going on? It's not good enough for you? I know. You have good stuff, man. You want the best. You want the best. I'm je a little jelly of some of your Ahoites. Um, but I'll show mine one day, and um, I think you'll appreciate them. Here's another little Ahoite. This is a great piece for jewelry. 
uh, good for wire wraps. It's got some hematite in there. Uh, a little bit of piemontite, P-I-E-M-O-N-T-I-T-E. -E. That is the red mineral. And then there's a little bit here. Let me zoom in a little more. A little bit of ahoite here. A little bit of self-healing going on there. And this one is $90, $398. And it will come with a free moldavite chip. here and we will definitely revisit all those as well the next Aho white that I have is this one here it's got a little partial phantom in here the green color is epidote and this red color here is p tight awesome Bill thank you we appreciate you um, so there's a little bit of hematite in here as well. So it's ahoite, hematite, epidote, pemantite. And this is also really nice for wire wrapping. A nice single crystal. It's about an inch. And $3.99 is the skew, and the price is $120. And it comes with a free Moldavite chip. So that's Ahoite number three. And Ahoite number four. So Ahoite has been, the mine's been closed since 2012 or 11, I can't remember. And they haven't found any more. Uh, with the exception of like a little bit of a road cut that they were making a road and they found a little bit of material that wasn't very good about a year and a half ago. So this is another piece that is good for wire wrapping. It has a little partial phantom. Uh, that black color in there is hematite. And this is about a centimeter and a half. Maybe a half inch. For those of you that are stuck not on the metric system. And I apologize for the finger cut uh, opening all this amethyst that we got in from Zambia. And it was really sharp and I had to take some matrix apart. And I cut myself a number of times. So this is L400. $125. And it comes with a free moldavite chip. So that's the fourth Ahoyt. Okay, I'm going to switch it up a little bit with Ahoyt. I'm going to show you a pendant. Um, I did post this the other day. Uh, D, I'm right ahead of you. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, my fingers got tore up. I'm sure when you wire up, they get all tore up too. So... Let me zoom in again. So here's a nice pendant in sterling silver. Uh, I had the Ahoite cut myself from the rough and also commissioned with the silver work. This is, maybe you can see it, but this is little sprays. Almost all Ahoite does grow in sprays. I do have some single points, Zeal. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, there's at least five, maybe five or six more that I'm gonna show of single points. Um, so this pendant has ahoite sprays and it's got a couple of other minerals. I'm sure there's some hematite in there, uh, a couple different types of hematite, that red little spray there as well as the black and the brown. I'm not 100% sure what that mineral is, but there's one, two, three, four, there's four or five minerals in this piece. And as far as size goes, it's a little bit bigger than the ones that I showed last week. And the, the stone itself is about an inch. It's about an inch and a half with the bale. And the skew and price on this one is $392 is the skew. It's $250. And it comes with a free Moldavite chip. I'm going to put that 
there. And get some more single points out for you here. Zeal. So the next one, this is a little bit bigger point. Uh, this is loaded with native copper. That's the majority of what you see right there. Uh, that's actual sprays of copper. I did not hear your claim. Let me go back and see. Uh, I don't I don't see it, Zeo. Can you repeat your claim? I know that there has been uh, some shadow banning of comments on Instagram. And so, yeah, if you want to repeat yourself, I did not hear that. Uh, hopefully it'll come through. If I don't speak it or, uh, yeah, if I don't speak it, I didn't see it. So this is native copper. There's a little bit of aho in here. There's a little bit of green epidote. There's definitely some hematite. aho is a little sliver up in here in the top. And a little bit right here in that Everything you see there is native copper that's on a phantom line. Uh, there is a little bit of white that runs on the top of the native copper. And that piece is a little bit bigger than an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And it is 393 is the SKU, $150. Also comes with a free moldavite chip. All right, so there we go. L3999 It's going to be this guy here. Thank you so much. He's starting off the night. And let's make sure we put a Moldavite chip with him too so we don't forget. Thank you, Zeal. Zeal Minerals, that is. All right. We got this party started. Ready? We're going to do some dance. Woo, woo. So you can't see me dance because the uh, camera's turned around. All right. The next Ajo 8 point. Uh, this is... Let me zoom in. It's got a little bit of... You're welcome. A little bit of self-healing going on here. Some nice crystal growth on the side. <laughs> you like to see me party? All right, I'll turn the camera around and dance in a minute. How about that? This is another Ahoy. This is what I, I think I can call this one a twin. The two crystals here that are parallel growth. Um, yeah, some people might call it a tantric twin because it doesn't have a line that goes down to the bottom. Not sure if I'm going to officially make that claim, um, but it is a really nice piece. There's the bottom, and this one, this is an affordable piece. This is $75, it is L401, and it also comes with a free Moldavite chip. I'm gonna say that a lot tonight. So, this one's 75. So here's a recap of those this is a nice single long single point here it's 100 good for wire wraps and this one's a little bit darker phantom it's 120 nice clear crystal we've got the one with the native copper for 150 uh, this one here is 90 it's also good for wire wrap we have the pendant for 250 And we have this point here for 75 The next Ahoy is this guy here. It's kind of a double point. Rain and Moldavite chips. Oh yeah, woo woo. Zoom in here. So this one has off-white running all the way up to crystal here. 
a little bit in the tip. It's got some epidote, it's got some pimentite, it's got some dirt. Gotta love that dirt. <laughs> yeah, and this one is a little bit incomplete here. You can see how clear the crystal is. A nice off white here. It's a little bit bigger piece. It's about three centimeters. And this one is a hundred dollars. Three nine four. Gonna be raining moldavite chips. I'm gonna take a moldavite shower here at some point on camera. Not tonight. So, uh, next let's do this polish point here. So, this is a piece that came off of a big cluster that I bought. And it was like a, uh, it was like, how big was it? I'm trying to remember. I think it was... I want to say like 40 pounds. Yeah, that one's really got a lot of good color. Let me zoom in a little more. Uh, so this is one of many that I got off a of cluster. It's got some really nice hematite sprays in there. It's got really good saturation. Uh, it's perfect to cap in gold or silver. It's ready to go into a jewelry project. And it is a stunning piece. This one is $450. Comes with a Moldavite chip. L127. I do have some larger crystals like this that have been polished. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't want to polish crystal. But I got to say, the Messina mine of all places, they it produces so many crystals that if you don't polish them, you're just not going to appreciate them because the color is buried under this thick crust. And this cluster, I could tell there was that there was blue inside, but you really had to open it in order to appreciate it. And I was very, very excited. Hand of the Mala, you must have just joined us. Yes, of course, we do have unpolished crystals. I will show you the recap really quickly. Here's some recaps. Uh, there's a couple of points here. This is a 100 and 125 for these. And this was 90 in my left hand. And this one has some really good native copper. Thanks for joining. Hannah the Mala, we appreciate you. Uh, we're, get, we're offering a free Moldavite chip with every Ahoite or Moldavite ring purchased and possibly some other stuff. Uh, so this one is 90. This one here. Come on camera. There we go. And this one is 150. It has a really nice native copper phantom. And I've got my light in the wrong place. And that's why it's not easy to see and a couple other ones that are not polished this one's 100 on the left and 75 on the right and if you want to claim the claim numbers are there hopefully you can see them I will show you the next unpolished ahoite uh, I do have a larger one here zeal this is the large, I think this is the largest unpolished piece that I'm going to show tonight. And this is about four centimeters. And if I can get my camera to cooperate, it's got, you can see that line right there. There's a white growing on the phantom there. See, you can see it on the side. This is all pimentite and epidote on the back. There's a little bit of ahoy on that point back there. I really wanted to clean this one today, but I didn't have time. I'm pretty sure that all of this will spray off a little bit, or at least some of it will. That'll clean up a good bit, which will also improve the translucency of the crystal. So this one is 150. L395.
You're very welcome. So the next point, I believe, this is the last Ahoy point that I'm going to show tonight. And this one is unpolished. It's got a really nice phantom. Really strong hematite. I would definitely call that a twin. Uh, somebody would probably call that a tantric twin. Uh, might even be a tri almost a triplet there. You can see how that little separation happens right there. And really strong color. It's good for wire wraps. That's also, let me look with my eyes, not the camera. That's a DT as well. It is a DT, Smoky Phantom. And this one's acclaim is $396, $180. Also comes with a free Moldavite chip. And that is going to be the last Ahoy point that I'm showing tonight. I do have a couple more pieces of jewelry. Show you that one more time. And Seal Minerals, $396, $180. Thank you, my friend. I'll get you another Moldavite chip here. So Zeal Minerals, you got that one. Thank you. That's two that you've got here. So you're most welcome. I appreciate you. Um, my uh, experience at the Messina mine is, or the Messina area is very unique. Um, I have visited there multiple times. I was able to dig there in 2009. And I didn't find a lot of blue, but we got into a pocket of pimentite, and it was one of the most fascinating experiences in the mineral world that I've ever had. Uh, we definitely did find a little bit of blue. Uh, I'll tell a, a quick story. Um, we have to use water to locate the crystals and to wash away the mud. And somebody was upstream from me. And the water was coming down, and I literally was catching little tiny crystals of Ahoy coming down the, the, the rock. And I was just like, oh my gosh, am I living in a dream? There's little Ahoy. It's floating down in this water, and I had to capture them and catch them before they like ended up back into the mud. Uh, I don't have any Papagoite that I'm showing tonight. I don't have any prepared. Um, I will make sure that I do that. Next week, I'll make sure to grab a couple of Papagoites for you if you want to sh check in next week. Yeah, so it was pretty amazing uh, being there and being able to dig this material. Um, I didn't want to leave. It was like 110 degrees, and there were bugs crawling in and out of your ears and your eyes, and it was really ridiculous. And if we weren't digging something that was unbelievably exciting and that I was super passionate about, I probably would have stopped digging, but it didn't matter. Uh, digging this material is, of course, a dream. I still have dreams about that experience. I imagine I'm going to be doing it again in the future, and I will give you more information about that at a later date. So this is the next pendant that I have to offer. Uh, this is in 925. This is a piece that I had cut off of a big cluster. A couple little lines there, and there's some other material, other minerals in there. Uh, some black hematite, probably a little epidote, the usual suspects. And that piece is a little bit bigger than an inch. No, it's okay. And this one, it's 325 It's a little bit cheaper than I offered it when I posted it the other day. I posted it as a static post. This was one of the pieces that I offered. Um, and it comes with a Moldavite chip. So there's not a lot of Ahoy jewelry on the market. Um, a good portion of what did come on the market uh, was something that I wholesaled to a friend. 
That's not to say that I'm the only, I'm definitely not the only person who's made Ahoy jewelry, but I did make a, quite a bit of Ahoy jewelry in the last few years. Uh, I made a bunch of beads, and I don't know if you saw the piece that JRX made from JRX and JXR and Co. If you haven't been to his page, he's one of the most incredible artists in the country, if not in the world, and he made the most unbelievable mala out of white beads that we provided. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go take a look at it. The Ahoite in Arizona, I have heard about it. Um, Aho is, that's the type locality, which means where it was first found. Um, it does come in quartz there. I don't think it's ever been found in a terminated crystal. I could be wrong, but I've yet to see one. Uh, I haven't really seen any Ahoy from Aho that really excites me. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, um, but I have yet to find one. If for some reason you find some Ahoy from Aho, Arizona that is exciting, um, by all means, shoot me an email or a direct message. I would be interested in at least seeing it and most likely purchasing it if it's exciting. And of course, if it's just for show, then I want to know about it because I'm very passionate about this mineral. This mineral is very passionate about me and we have a very special relationship. Uh, so this is something I showed last week and this is one of the best cabs that I have available. This is called uh, Angel Feather Ahoy. And almost all, if not all, Ahoyite on a microscopic level grows in fibers and hairs, but when it does this, it's really special. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be, there's definitely not going to be a new mine in the Messina area. Um, they did find some at a road cut. I've heard there's going to be a road put over one of the major areas, but I'm not sure. There's actually plans, and I don't know if it's going to go through, but the Chinese have this plan to create this massive dam in the Messina area, which I have mixed feelings about. Um, I don't really want to get into why I have mixed feelings about it. You can have your own uh, opinions about it, but there is a lot of positives that could come to that because it is a very arid area that doesn't retain water and the Limpopo River dries up significantly every year and if they were to dam it in the project that they're talking about doing it would provide sustainable water for the entire southern eastern African region and that could be really good for the people there. Uh, I know that in Zimbabwe they have crazy floods and they have a lot of problems and that could be a solution to a lot of their problems. And then when they don't have floods, they have a lot of lack of water. And so the dam might be a good thing, but it would be a really tragic event for um, Ahoy, I believe, because I don't know if we would have access to the areas that it comes from. So we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. Um, I may have some news in the future. So this piece is incredible. This is one of the best pieces that I have available. It's got the nice sprays. This is a uh, half gold, half silver. It's like a brushed darker silver. It's 14 karat gold, 925 silver. And if you weren't with us last week, um, this is $1,400, which is a pretty good price for pieces quality. Uh, I would consider it a pretty good investment piece. It's probably going to increase in value if it's not already worth more and that's 313 all right i got two more pieces of jewelry to show you and then we're going to move on to something else but i will recap everything that i have here briefly uh, this is something that i did show last week some of you are new and i'm sure some of you probably were here with us last week so, this is a piece that was cut and polished in America. And it's a pendant. It has a hole in the back. It's ready to wear. It has a really nice white spray. Uh, let's see if I can get it back lit here. No, I don't even know if it's necessary. Front lit, front lit's better. 
Uh, so it's got really nice color, really nice ahoite here. Specular hematite in three or four different areas. It's a little bit of ahoite on the bottom. Uh, I want to do this and make it go like a... I want to zoom in, but I got to do that with the camera, not the, not the rock. <laughs> so you can see there's some sprays. These little white crystals are either calcite or kaolinite. Um, I believe they're calcite when they have shapes like that. The kaolinite is usually round. Uh, you can see all the little ahoite and specular hematite. The green is epidote. The yellowish is limonite. There's just a lot going on in this piece. Again, it comes with free ahoite chip. Sorry, free moldavite chip. An ahoite chip. Yeah, maybe one day may, I'll give you an ahoite chip too. I, actually, that's not impossible. I do have ahoite chips left over from some of the cutting projects, but we'll do that another day. So this piece is $900, and it's a stunner. That's a lot of color for $900. I'm pretty sure I could put $1,500 on it, and it would still be a realistic price. I'm going to put this one over here, and we got one more. I also showed this one last week, but for those of you who are just joining us this week, Show it one more time, and then I'll do a recap, and then we'll move on. So this is a small Ahoy pendant in sterling silver. Uh, the cabochon itself is about 1.2 centimeters, something like that. It's got a nice hematite blob in the center, and it's cute. It's dainty. Will sit really nicely close to the neck. And this one is 300. Uh, it's got a really nice saturation of color. All right. So that is all the Aho White that I have to show tonight. I'm going to do a quick recap. Nice polish point for 450. There's a really nice long point with a little bit of aho in the tip for 150. It's a double point here for 100. We have this nice pendant here for 320, 325. This one's 250. There's a nice little point for 90. It's a long jewelry point for a hundred. This one has good saturation. This is 125. And this one has a nice native copper. The spelling of the stone is A-J-O-I-T-E. Uh, it's Ajoite would be how you would say it, but it's from Ajo, Arizona. So that's why the J is like a Spanish J. Uh, it's really funny. I wasn't the first person to bring this stuff to Japan, but I did bring a big batch of it to Japan in 2008. And uh, the word Aho in Japan means shit. <laughs> and I kept calling it Ahoite, and they were like laughing. And I was like, why are they laughing? And my interpreter was like, because you're saying it's shitite. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it caught on. They definitely know it now and they understand it. Uh, what's it do? Ahoite is one of the most powerful. Yeah, garlicite too. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Aho in Spanish means, I think it's, yeah, Aho with the accent in a different place. So uh, what we're, back to the question. What does it do? Ahoite is a very powerful heart chakra stone. Uh, we have a claim here of L400. And that is 125 for Dolce. Gauda, hope I said that right, Dolce Gauda. And if you didn't join us earlier, we're giving a Moldavite, free Moldavite chip with each Ahoy purchase. And there's your little Moldavite chip. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Yep. Yep.
yeah, focus, got gotcha. you. Yeah, Ahoyd is definitely one of the most powerful and sought after metaphysical stones. Uh, it clears all negativity. It supposedly clears all the chakras. It's a very powerful heart opening stone. And uh, it's, it's really good for um, soothing the heart when there's temperament issues and when there's heartache. Uh, and it's really good for communications because it is a, also works with the throat chakra because it's in that color spectrum. Um, it's very reminiscent of ocean and it's full of copper so it has all of the same uh, properties as copper uh, it is in the copper silicate family uh, we have another claim here 401 that's magic made crystals thank you very much uh, 401 75 dollars magic made crystals and we're going to get you a moldavite chip here for free as well there's your Moldavite chip. Thank you very much. We're very appreciative of you. Yeah, the copper silicates. I call myself a copper silicate junkie because the copper silicates just take me away. I don't know why it's this family of minerals that really gets me. And it's usually, uh, silicate means it's inside of quartz. Uh, not only because there is copper in quartz, but silicates are a, a family of minerals. Uh, silica is what quartz is made of and quartz amplifies copper copper is a very powerful stone and it's good for lots of different things there's subtleties and differences between all the different copper silicates um, i have quite an array of copper silicates available that if you're interested in seeing them i will be bringing more of those out in the future that family is ahoite, chrysocolla, shatakite, papagoite, planchiite, uh, gem silica, which is chrysocolla. There's and there's a number of other ones. Um, dioptase is a really good one, really powerful one. Uh, we have another claim here for three nine eight. That would be Sam Bryan Jr. Thank you very much. Three nine eight is this one for ninety dollars. And I'm going to get you a Moldavite chip. Appreciate you, Sam Bryan Jr. Here's a Moldavite chip. That is a free offering. Thank you. Uh, we, we appreciate you all. If, if you just joined us and you do want to see something else again, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, it's really hard to keep track of who uh, is joining and who has been here for a while. Uh, if you have been here for a while, feel free to chime in and be like, hey, it's good to see you. We're still here. Uh, this is our second live show. Uh, you want to see 315 up close? Yes, you can. Cyanobun or Cinnabon. Let me zoom in for you. So that is the quality and the saturation of the Ahoite. It's in sterling silver. It's got hematite. It is a $300 pendant. It is one of the nicer ones that I've ever made. Cynthia. Appreciate you, Cynthia. If, uh, if you want to see it any more than that, let me know. I'm pretty sure that's a good representation of what you're getting. If you choose that one. And that is what we have to offer in Ahoite tonight. I could talk all night about Ahoite because it's one of the power stones that we are in love with. And it loves us. And we have a very special relationship with the Messina Mines. Uh, I've been to the area three or four times. I was able to dig there in 2009 when they were digging and hitting material. Uh, I took my wife there in 2008, right before they really got into the mine. And she she has this ability to like, she can just walk on and find a four-leaf clover like at full speed. She'll be walking and be like, oh look, I'm gonna stop, there's a four-leaf clover. And I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me. And I'm sitting here like looking for Ahoyt they hadn't opened like they what happened is in in 2008 they had opened the area in 2007 and then they had to close it back up so that they could get the permits and stuff and so when we were there um it wasn't opened like the hole wasn't opened 
And I was sitting there like, I'm going to find some ahoy. And I'm looking around and finding blue and this, this, this. And I mean, I'm not finding anything. And, you know, she just walks around and she's like, oh, look, there's an ahoy. She literally just like squats down and picks up a crystal off the ground. And I was like, fuck you. (laughs) Sorry. It wasn't really like that. Um, But I was literally like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, you're just going to like bend down and find an ahoy. And I've been like scouring the ground and you're just like, oh, there's one. You know, and then like 10 minutes later, she finds another little sliver. And I'm just like, that's not cool. Um, So I had to go back without her. (laughs) I went back in 2010 without her and I got to get into a pocket. And, uh, you know, that was when the mine was opened and we were in the hole. And I got to actually dig ahoy out of the ground. She got to find it on the surface. And so... Um, I'm better than her because of that. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, she's actually in the background laughing at me. Um, the uh, four-leaf clover queen in pain over here. Okay, so uh, there's 391D. That's 325. Sterling silver. It's got a couple little ahoy lines in there and some other minerals. It's a really clear crystal. What's going on there? There's a, there's a midge. Here, take that. <laughs> why is that here cool so hopefully you got a good um, view of what that one looks like D and we'll zoom back out here alright let's see the benefit of having paper like we did last week is that I can just shift it off to the side will you give me a piece of paper because it's kind of cool to just bring it all back together I'll put it on a piece of paper and shift it over, and we'll move on to another stone. Uh, for those of you that are waiting to see some of the other stuff, we have some ridiculous Tiffany stone. Like, I'm not even really sure if I'm comfortable selling it. Um, I, I picked out some of the ones that we want to keep, so I have plenty to sell. But the Tiffany stone is the most ridiculous. It's, it's very quickly becoming one of my favorite stones because of the fact that every piece... Is like a painting and when it's good. Like the ordinary stuff is not as exciting and there's a lot of ordinary stuff. There's not a lot of really high grade stuff out there, but I bought a collection of rough and a collection of slabs and I had it cut in China this year. And um, I, I had so much fun circling it all. 397 again. Yes, I will definitely do that before I put these away. And we're not, they're not going anywhere. I'm going to keep them off to the side. Um, I can always come back and show them to you again. I know if you've been uh, if you've been watching, you want to see stuff again. That's not a problem. So this is three ninety seven. Uh, let me see here. Here's the phantom. It's about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. It's really good for jewelry. And that one's a hundred bucks. Sam. And hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you're looking at there. All of the Ahoy that I'm showing you tonight that are crystals is coming from the dealer stock of Colin Owen. Colin Owen passed away in October, and he was one of the more famous dealers in Cape Town. And uh, I got to get into his dealer stock, and I went and saw him quite a number of times in Cape Town and bought a bunch of stuff from him. And so this is coming from his material. I was very fortunate enough to get some of it. And I got almost, if not all, of the ahoy that he had, which wasn't much. And they're mostly smalls. And I will definitely have a little bit to show you in the future. All right, Sam, claim 397. That's confirmed. Get you a little Molivite chip here. I might, I might need to get some more Molivite chips out of the drawer too. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate you. That's two claims for you, I believe. And if you guys want to see any of this again, I'm going to keep it off to the side. Uh, do I cut my own cabochons? You know, I don't have a lot of patience to actually finish them. I do a lot of slabbing and taking the rough apart, and I do have I have cutting factories that I use in Indonesia and in China and in India. I have cutters in America that I use here locally in Asheville, uh, particularly for some of the more expensive material. 
Uh, Raph, you want to get me another piece of paper? Yes, sir. Thanks. Um, just since this is really quick, I'm going to briefly go over this again. For those of you who may just be joining us, we have Moldavite rings. This is type one. Uh, we have all the sizes. We even have fours, four and a halfs, and fives, five and a halfs as well. Here you grab one. Uh, these are $60 each. There are rounds and ovals, and they each come with a Moldavite chip for free. And Nicole is going to show you what it looks like. Dun, 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 dun. Hope you remember where that came from. <laughs> so we have type one, $60 each, and we have type two, these are 85, and we have all the sizes. Just as a recap, for those of you who may just be joining us now or missed the first part of the show, most of these are ovals. There are a few that are different shapes, and we have all the sizes. Uh, you can always say, hey, I want to see that again, or I need a size 8 or whatever. You know, So that's type 2. Each one of them comes with a free Moldavite chip. And I'm going to move on to Tiffany Stone now because Tiffany Stone, this stuff is so crazy. So I just got these back from my cutter and my wife didn't want me to sell any of them <laughs> because they're all so cool. Claim type two, seven C, this is type two. This is gonna be uh, Sam Bryan Jr. C7, all right, seven. Let's see, type two is $85, the rock dealer. Uh, Flork, uh, stud earrings. I am going to make stud earrings. I have the Molevite. I just need to get the studs and glue them together. Um, that's part of this batch that I bought. Um, I got a bunch of trimmings, and there are some perfect, perfect pieces. I separated them all out for studs. That's the reason that I bought the batch. I ended up with three kilos of this material. Um, specifically so that I can get the stud earrings and we're going to be giving away thousands of pieces of Moldavite chips over the next year. Sorry? The chip for that. Oh, chip for that. Um, uh, that one's unsorted. The chips, go get there's a bag of them that are already sorted. Or actually, you know what? The tray underneath that that has the boxes that are on top of each other, the, bo the, the most full boxes one layer down, are the ones that are the giveaways. Cool. All right. I'm moving on. Stop me at any time, and I'll go back to whatever you want. We do have Ahoy over here. Perfectly helpful. Perfectly happy to show you that again. The Moldavite rings are in the back. And we're moving on to Tiffany Stone. My wife's probably going to have to leave the room because... No, there's another one. That's for a different purpose. Uh, we have enough for now. There's like 20 pieces, 15 pieces or something. So if I have to stand up and find it, it's not a big deal. Okay, Tiffany Stone. The stone that my wife doesn't want me to sell because she loves them all. She went to art school, so she's like, oh my God, they're so amazing. They're all like paintings. Um, let me get this a little closer here. Okay. So this is the first Tiffany Stone that we're going to show you. Tiffany Stone is an opalized fluorite and bertrandite. And uh, what else? There's something else I'm supposed to remember about this stone uh, mineralogically that I'm drawing blanks. I'll have to look it up. Um, I'm sure somebody else will chime in and let me know. There's, oh, it's just incredible stuff. It's like, this isn't the best example for what I'm about to say, but it's uh, what I call like nightscapes. I all, a lot of them I see as like it's like you're walking through a forest and there's a field on the other side and there's a sunset in the background. Definitely has copper, Bill. Um, and there's something else that I can't remember that's like, I think it's yttrium or something. I don't know. That would be UV reactive. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Regardless of what it is, mineralogically, they're super, super, super cool. And the low grade is not nearly as exciting as the high grade. Uh, this is a really neat piece. Uh, this is got multiple colors, and it's like a nightscape. 
and this is the first one. This is $50. This is a cabochon ready to set into jewelry. That's number 414. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to zoom back out. I will say that a lot of these stones, the color, even though we have tons of lighting, the color is not as brilliant on the camera as it is to my eyes. Caliche do you? I don't understand, but, um, Chalcedony. oh, Chalcedony. Yes, Chalcedony. <laughs> Caliche do you? Okay, all right, so check this one out. So this is like, this is where it starts to get like a painting. Like this is, it's almost like Asian style painting where it's very simple, but it's just so beautiful, so much contrast. This one doesn't even have that much color, but it doesn't matter. It just fascinates me the, uh, what am I trying to say? The, just how incredible nature creates this amazing stuff. Yeah, it's like picturesque. Uh, Colombian cookite included quartz. Um, I don't know if I've seen the cookite from Colombia. So I'd probably not, um, but that's something I'll look into in the future. Anthropomorphism is my favorite word. Um, I don't know if I see that on here, but this is like a flock of birds. Maybe this is like a howling wolf or something. Um, Yeah, so this is a really cool piece. And a lot of times the back sides are just as cool. I almost wish that they were all like double-sided domes, but it's not as conducive to jewelry. So one side usually has to be flat. Um, my polishers and my cutters did an amazing job at capturing the patterns and the shapes. I gave them a little bit of help, and they got a really good polish on it, which is not easy to do. So... This is like another little painting. This one is $60. It is 409. Tiffany Stone 409. I will definitely recap all of these for you in the future. And here's the next one. My wife's cringing because she collects hearts and she wants to collect them all. And I told her that she can't have them all um, because there's other hearts out there. So other people need hearts too, Nicole. <laughs> uh, so this one is really cool. It's got the yellows and the oranges. Um, these like solid lines really remind me of a painting style. I didn't go to art school, so I don't know the lingo. Uh, the Moldavite, the only Moldavite that we've shown tonight is rings. And that is in the background. That can always be shown again. There's two different types of rings. These are $60 each. These are $85 each. There is a necklace faceted for $835, and there is a bracelet faceted for $425. Um, if I don't run, if I if I get through all the material that I have on the table, I will show some more moldavite. But I don't have it on the schedule today, and I'm going a little bit slower than I well, I'm just going slow because I talk a lot. Anyways, so this is Tiffany Stone number three. The skew is 404, it's $75. And it speaks for itself. I could talk all day about what I see in the Tiffany Stone and some of them I will. But if you love it, you love it. It's, it's everybody sees something different in it. The next Tiffany Stone is this one. And let's see if I can get this here. This has got good contrast, nice purple and white. Uh, not as many lines in this one. It's a bigger stone. It's like th uh, yeah, maybe almost inch and three quarters. $60 on that one. And we will recap. So if you can't see it, don't worry. The next Tiffany stone, this is, it starts to get better from here. Not that the other ones weren't good, but oh my gosh, this stuff is crazy. It blows my mind. So this is like a river, like when you're flying and then you look down and you see like landscape stuff. This is just really cool. Very good shape. Nice high dome on that. 
got some metallic stuff in there. And that one, four twelve, seventy dollars. I'm gonna start trying to go a little faster so that we can get everything in tonight. The rings are always available. Um, I did show them. I'll show them again really quickly. This is type two. These are $85. If you have a size that you like, I have all the sizes. They're all very similar. I can show specifics or you can just call it a size. And type one, I guess I should flip them since this is uh, minis. These are $60. And each one of the rings comes with a free Moldavite chip. And I have all the sizes, including four, four and a half, five, and six, and five and a half. So I'm going to flip these. Type one and type two. Okay, back to the Tiffany stone. This is where it gets exciting. The other ones were exciting too, but I think it gets better as I go. Uh, teardrop shapes of what? If I have, there's a couple teardrop rings in Moldavite, or if you're talking about Tiffany Stone, this is a nice teardrop. Um, I don't know what size you are if you're looking for a teardrop, but there's only a couple. I do have some others, so uh, we can work on that. Jay Condry, you're late. What did you miss? We did Moldavite rings. We did Ahoite. Uh, the Moldavite rings are all in the background there. And Ahoy is over here. Uh, we did some single points. And we are doing Tiffany Stone now. And so this one, nice yellow. It's got yellows and purples. And this one is $100. That is 415 is the claim number. And the Tiffany Stone is one of my favorite stones this week. It just came in off the cutting block. Yeah, Moldavite Teardrop, what size are you? I can have somebody look while I'm showing. If you tell me what size you are, J-N-F-R-M-L-N-A. Um, I'd be happy to see if I have a teardrop shape for you. I'm going to keep going, though, because it's very easy for me to get sidetracked with all of the questions. So this particular color is really unusual. Um, I guess I can, yeah, it's not a teardrop. Okay. Um, if you want to look in that table over there, you have to size them. The sizer is in the drawer, but that whole table right there, if you find a teardrop, no, the drawer that's Moldavite drawer behind Raf. Um, if you can find that, we can help you out. Maybe we can find you a size eight teardrop. So this one is $75. It is 410. Uh, this particular color spectrum is a little bit rare. I haven't seen a lot of this color. In the Tiffany Stone, uh, it's a, it's less common than the other ones, and I really what I really like about this is this white banding up here, and I guess if you turn it over, it kind of looks like a landscape. It's like a, it's almost like a snow layer, and then you got this crazy sunset, the sun ray setting over here, and the sky's just going crazy. There's like a tree there in the background, some birds in the sky, like. This is starting to get really landscapey. is what I really like about Tiffany Stone is that it's like literally a painting. And this next one is no joke. This is no exception. This is just phenomenal stuff. It's really hard to get top grade Tiffany Stone. And this one's got a lot going on too. Uh, sometimes the ones that don't have a lot of color are still really amazing when they have the patterns and the contrast. So polish is really good. You can see it reflecting off the light. This is a much bigger piece. This is like two inches. And this one is $100. It's L405. Can put that here. And the next one, let's see, one, two, three. I've got another eight or nine of these to show you. This is like a tree. What's going on in here? It's like veins or roots. It's just 
great stuff. Really high quality material. This one, $408, $90. And give you a recap here. Has a heart in it, which one, that one? Yeah, right there. There's a heart, you're right. Don't tell my wife. Oh yeah, we have an Etsy shop. Our Etsy shop is ranked, uh, they tell us on E-Rank it's 34 in the world, but it's not 34 for all categories. We're actually seventh in our category in the world. And uh, we are the 86th ranked shop in the country for all categories. 227,000 sales in five years. 55,000 feedback. Positive feedback. Uh, the rings, you can always go back to. Oh, i got to take some time to show you that. All right, really quickly, rings, since you're just joining us. This is type 1. This is the minis. These are $60. We have all the sizes from four all the way to 10. And I can either show you those later or you can just call out a size if you want those. It comes with a free Moldavite chip. And this is type two. And this is $85. You get a free Moldavite chip. This goes from size six to size nine. And I probably have some tens too. Also comes with the Moldavite chip. So if you want to see one of those, call out type one or type two and tell me your size and we will sort you out. Um, okay, so we did find size uh, J N F R M L N A. Gosh, I can't even say that. These are both size eight teardrops. They're $85 a piece. We'll call this number one. We'll call this number two. If you're still with us and you want one of those, let me know, and I'll keep that off to the side. Type one, seven and a six point five or seven. Um, okay, Nicole, you want to do that? Yeah. So uh, I believe that's a claim for D A N Danny I H T X. She wants a six and a half or seven. Do you have a preference? Six and a half or seven, because I'm pretty sure we have both. Um, I do have to measure them between six and a half and seven, but I'm going to give this to Raf, and we're going to pull one of those for you, and I'll show it for you. Um, I'm going to get back to Tiffany Stone. Uh, yeah, she wants to. She wants to see those. So this particular, don't worry. I'm going to get them to put those in front of me in a second, and I'll show you those. But I have to keep going because otherwise, I will never get through all this material. Yes, of course, you can claim two. As many as you want to claim. Uh, we're not talking about these. She's, she's talking about the... She's Jennifer. She's the one who... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yes, claimed. J-N-F-M-R-L-N-M-N-M-N-A. Uh, no, number two. Number two. And she needs a Moldavite chip. So we're going to give her a free Moldavite chip. Uh, let, let me still give it back to me for a second. So, all right, here's your ring. We all good? Here, you want the sizer? Uh, she, she told us she wanted an eight, so if it's an eight, we're good. Okay, I have to spend a little bit of time on this particular piece because my wife saw something in this and she was like, you have to tell them what's going on in here. So this is the Harry Potter <laughs> Tiffany stone. And she said that because she thinks that this is the castle in the background. And it's like this like looming sunset. And what else was it than the castle? Was there actually like a, would you see something else no, in there? It's just, it's just the castle. Like She's the like, the, it's like the moonscape. It's, you know, it's got this roundish shape. So it's like the shape of the moon. There's cathedral in the background. Or it's like, it's like medieval. You know, it's like you're coming out of the woods. And I'm not really sure what that is, but it's just super cool. Uh, it's got the castle in the background. She called it the Harry Potter piece. That one is $80. That was one of my wife's favorite. That's number 407. And 
So, I'm gonna move these off to the side. And my elbow just really likes to bump this light. Is that, even, is that on right? Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, the next Tiffany stone is another fantastic piece in that hard to get color spectrum. This is yellow. It's really nice and thick. It's good for making jewelry or just as a collection piece. It's really well polished. Um, if you see something, say something, it's almost like a smiley face, like there's an eye, an eye, a nose, and a smile right there. So I've got smiley Tiffany there, third eyes open. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's a neat one. So that one, this is a big piece. That's like almost two inches. That one's $90. 416 is the skew. And I'll give you a little bit of a recap on the Tiffany stone. And I can show this all up close. I'll recap them all again at the end before we put them away. Type one. All right, so Danny, type six and a half or seven? Was it a six? It was right above a seven. Above so it, a seven? Yeah, right above a size seven. Uh, did a little we... smaller than a size seven. Oh, so that's below then. So uh, what was the name again? Danny, D-A-N-I-I-H-T-X. This is your ring. That's like a 6.75. So we're going to call that a claim. And did you get her a chip? No. I'm get you a free Moldavite chip. And you're all set. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. Next Tiffany stone. Got to keep moving. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. And I think it's just because of the amount of color contrast here. And again, you know, what I'm seeing with my eyes is more bright in color than what I'm seeing on my phone. Sorry about that. Uh, so just so you know, like anything that you're buying, it's going to be a little bit better color uh, than what you're seeing on the camera. Hey, Charlene, how's it going? Charlene was a big part of my week this week with a really awesome astrological reading. If y'all if y'all need any assistance, <laughs> hey, watch out over there. <laughs> if you guys need any astrological work, uh, Charlene is an expert. She is a professional astrologer and she is very intuitive. I suggest you look her up. And we got some laughter going on in the background because somebody kicked over some stuff. Um, Anyways, so this is one of my favorite Tiffany stones that I'm showing this evening. Um, let me see if I can get more color to show here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. No. All right. Yeah, so that's more like it. That's actually what I'm seeing. <laughs> you guys okay back there? <laughs> so... Oh man, I've got to figure out a way to get more light, like really up on the stone. So, gosh, I almost want to go back over the really purple Tiffany stones again because that light, I just got it really close to the stone and this is a lot more about, this is how I'm seeing it with my eyes is this color now it's showing up on the camera. So this one is just crazy. It's just, you know, yellow, sunset in the background, there's a tree, it's just, you know, you can make your own decisions. Everybody sees something different. So this one is a hundred dollars. That is four eleven. Oh, that would be helpful. Uh, actually, I think I got it with this light though. Thank you. I might be able to use that and hold it in the future, but we'll see. I kind of need both hands. Um, so that one's four eleven. That one's a hundred dollars. That one's super cool. Uh, man, you made Nicole laugh so hard she had to leave. Yeah. Uh, where's the water? Can I have some water? I yeah. think there's some water up here. Oh, maybe not. All right. Anyways, 
Claim Moldavite size eight teardrop. Uh, you want the other one? This is another size eight teardrop. The other the one that we showed too. The other one was purchased. So Sparkle Glam is that a claim for this one? This is a size eight teardrop. Oh, type one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, thanks for being clear. I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. Uh, we don't have teardrops in type one. We have um, we have circles and we have ovals. And that's the only shapes that we have in size one. Um, so I'm happy to, to give you an eight if you're still interested. Um, let me know if you would like an oval or a round and you will get a free Moldavite chip with that. Okay, all right, oval please. Size eight oval, excellent here. So this is what we've got for you. This is a size eight oval. Thank you very much, Sparkle Glam. I'm gonna get you a nice, oh, you get luck of the draw, you get a nice big Moldavite chip to go with that. You're very welcome, thank you so much. So that's Sparkle Glam, that's type one, $60. <sighs> okay. Here's another one of the ridiculous Tiffany stones that we have to offer tonight. I just keep seeing a bird with these wings here. It's sort of like a bird, but then like the bird's shedding or something. It's like, I don't really know what to call it, but it's super cool. I love this piece. I picked it up like 10 times the other day. Uh, when we were picking some that we didn't want to sell, I kept picking this one up and I was like, am I gonna let this one go? It's like, oh, we've already keep we've already kept enough. We probably kept like 10 or 15 pieces. Um, and we will have more of this in the future to show you. I cut a pretty significant batch. Yeah, it's like mountains. And the cool thing about these things is that when you turn them, like stuff changes, you know? Like this looks, this has got some anthropomorphism going on in here. I don't know what I see in that, but that's really cool the way this is like triangular. It's almost like a skull. And then, you know, there's like some dots in here and just super, super cool. And uh, if you set them with an open back, you'll be able to see the backs, but a lot of them, the backs are just as cool or different, you know? So it's like you kind of get two paintings in one. Uh, I like the front of this one better, but sometimes the backs are actually better. Just, it's a personal preference with this stuff, so it really depends on you. So this is a large piece. It's about two and a half fingers. It's two inches. And this one is $100, 406. And again, this quality Tiffany stone is very difficult to obtain. Uh, they aren't really mining it anymore. And when they do, I think the most recent mining was very boring in the quality of the material. So this one has a story. This, is, this one, I definitely have a picture that I see in here. So I call this one the fisherman. And this one is, I see like a really long boat, like they have these really long fishermen's boats in like Indonesia and Thailand. And I see three fishermen, this one here, this, this is a person, he's like smoking a cigarette or something. And it's like the end of the day and they're coming into dock. And then there's like two guys standing off on the back of the boat. And this is like the pier here that they're coming to. You can see the reflection on the water here of the sunset. And this is just ridiculous. I love this piece. I just love it. Something about it just really grabs me. And then, you know, if you turn it this way, it kind of looks like a oriental painting of some kind. It's almost like a symbol. It's just super cool. And the back also is cool. So this is the fisherman. And the fisherman is $90. Number 403. Also one of my favorite pieces. Okay, we got three more Tiffany stones before we move on. I will do a recap before we go. And I'm really surprised that none of you guys have jumped on any of these. These are really special. And I mean, I know they're a little bit pricey for cabochons, but given what they are and the quality and the size, uh, I think you're getting a good value for your money. All right, Magic Made Crystals, claim one, 
Claim 403, The Fisherman. I do think that's my favorite piece in the group. Thank you so much. That is a very, very good claim. All right, three more to go. This is another really cool piece. Let's see, get, get, enough, get enough light on it here. So this is like, I don't know which is the right angle to view. So you see the little thing in the center? You can see my finger, like it's got, let's see if I can. It's got a hole in the center. It's not actually a hole, it's just a piece of silica that you can see through. And I kept like seeing this optical plane. I was like, what is going on there? And I realized that it was a, like a little thing. So, so this is one way that this can be viewed. And I don't think this is the most landscapey. Like I really feel like this is the direction that it could be viewed. And I don't know what it is about this piece, but I just feel like it's a, it's just like a night sky from a different planet. This here reminds me of a, like an eye of like, oh wait, I see a face now, check it out. So this is an eye and that's an eye and here's a nose. This is totally like a cat or something like this whole section here is a face and the eye kind of moves and there's like a it's like a cat face there's a little nose and a mouth right there I didn't see that before until right now I've been staring at this piece for so long I really love this piece I, every time I turn it I see something else and like I kept stopping like it was kind of cut to go this way because of the way that it was oval but this is really a, a cool I love how there's a sun it looks like a sunset in the background. And there's a face here. It's almost like a cat or a wolf or, no, it's not a wolf. I don't really know what it is, but it's cool. There's anthropomorphism in here, I can see it. I totally love it. Um, you know, it also looks good in a couple different directions. And this one is $100. It's 402 and that's I keep saying that this one's my favorite and that one's my favorite, but there's so many of them that are my favorites. And this is the backside. It looks like a bunny looking up at the top. Yeah, I kind of agree. So the backside is super cool too. It's like there's a mountain here and that little, it's almost like a volcano that's ex erupting here. Let me get a little closer. So it's like a volcano and a sunset. It's just, this stuff is crazy. I could go on and on about what I see in some of these things. And this one's really cool because both sides are totally different. And you can see how thick it is. It's really not thick, but the difference between this side and you got a little face here and a sunset, and then this side, you've got a mountain and like a bird in the sunset. Uh, this is Tiffany Stone, for those of you that are just joining us. Uh, this one's $100 and it is 402. And if somebody doesn't claim this one tonight, there's a really good chance I'm going to keep it <laughs> because I love that one. Super cool. I've picked it up too many times, but I won't do that. If you want it, it you, by all means, go for it. Two more to go. This is, I would almost dare say, more of a traditional one, if there is such a thing. Um, I don't really know why I say that. Shirley, what are you doing? 402, you silly. Shirley claims 402. Shirley works for me, <laughs> but it's okay. She's not here. She's working remotely. Um, Shirley, I appreciate you, um, but you have to pick it up in person. <laughs> awesome piece. Anyways, here's the next piece. We got two more to go, and this is really cool. And what do you see in it? <laughs> I see a bird here. Super cool piece. Backside. Very cool. And this one is Sixty dollars. Four eighteen. All 
Okay, last one. And then we'll move on to Road Crow Sight. Uh oh, this might be my favorite one. <laughs> Just kidding. But look at how cool that is. It definitely is worthy of being a pretty amazing stone. Top, top, top grade Tiffany stone. It's got all the contrasts and colors. It goes from lavender to purple to pink, peach, orange, yellow. It's got the branchy type stuff. Ooh, what's this going on here? This is like a little being here. It's like holding out a stick. It's like a like some kind of thingy in there. I don't know. It's neat. I guess you can't call it anthropomorphism if it's a non-physical being. <laughs> Anyways, this is super cool. The backside is very different. It's got this metallic piece in here. And wow. Yeah, really cool. This one. Mm -hmm. yeah, Jack, Jack Skellington. Mm -hmm. There you go. 90407. Bella's photo. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are done showing the Tiffany stones. I'm going to do a quick recap. If you guys are inclined... Here they are. Go through these once again really quickly. This one, it's a multicolored piece. Really neat. That one's 50. This one is 60. That's 413. This one, unusual color for Tiffany Stone. It's like got this white sand. 75. Uh, this one is 100. With the bird. And this one is 90 with all the contrast. Uh, this one is like like oriental art, very like simple and interesting lines. That one's 60. This one is 70. This one is 100. It's the largest one in the group. And this one is the yellow piece, it's 90. This one's 60. The heart, 75. This one is 100. This one with the veins and the tree, is 90. This is the Harry Potter castle. That one's 80. And last but not least, that one's 100. So I'm going to pull these off to the side. And one day you guys will look back and you'll be like, oh my God, Rusty showed me the best Tiffany stone I've ever seen. You'll see. Go look at some other, go try to find good Tiffany stone out there. Oh, 413. Got a claim. Nice. Thank you, Sam Bryan Jr. That is a good piece. 413. Thank you so much. And these, let's do it one more time. Going once. They'll still be available. We'll come back to them again. Going twice. You'll definitely thank me later. Go look at Tiffany Stone online. A lot of what's out there is not this good. And for now, we're going to drag this, drag this over to the side. Thank you, Tiffany Stone. This stuff's a lot of fun. All right, for those of you that may just be joining us, I'm going to quickly recap. We have Moldavite rings. This is type uh, girl one. Girl Oh, Girl in Her Pastries. I did not see your claim. We do have a claim... Uh, you know, the whole shadow banning three thing. Okay, so 418 for a girl and her pastries. Thank you so much for repeating that. Um, we're going to work on defeating this shadow ban any way we have to. 
So anybody that's just joining us again, Moldavite rings, this is type one. We have all the sizes from four to 10. These are $60. You get a free Moldavite chip with a Moldavite ring purchase. And this is type two. We have from six to probably size 10. There's only nines here, but I'm pretty sure we have tens too because I know I have more of these. Show me the Moldavite. Charlene, I'll show you the Moldavite privately. I need to move on to Rotoprosite. Um, all the Moldavite that I have prepared, I showed it last week. I know that not everybody saw it, um, but I want to get through the Rotoprosite because last week I talked for four hours and I literally only showed half. <laughs> My wife deserves the heart. Oh, you have no idea how many hearts she has. I will show you the ones that she picked out. <laughs> She's, she takes all the good hearts. Shh, I didn't say that. Oh, you know what? I have three random, I have three really nice tourmalines that I want to show you really quickly. These are slices. There's only three. I'm going to go through these quickly because that makes the flat empty. Does my eye spy on Ahoyt? Yeah, we did Ahoyt already. And I can... Give you a little bit of an overview really quickly. Um, this was 450. It's a polish point. <laughs> this is a nice a long crystal with a little phantom for 150. This is 100. Uh, there's four pendants in silver. And uh, we have this really nice piece here. And then we have this native copper piece. I'm happy to show you. All of that stuff privately if you want, Charlene. Uh, the queen deserves it all. Yeah, I'll show you a heart collection one day, but, you know, if I do that on, if I do that live, then we won't sell anything. One day I'll show it, because I can show it quickly. Okay, tourmaline. These are slices that I had cut from rough from Caribib. Namibia. I showed these last week. These are this one's polished on both sides. This one is two hundred and sixty dollars. This is watermelon. Good for summertime. And it's a nice big piece. And this is an even bigger piece. Kind of looks a little bit like Africa. It just needs a little bit more of a lump right here. Needs to come in a little bit more right here, and it would be kind of like Africa. It's almost kind of like South America, too. Uh, it's a really thick piece. Uh, this is polished on the front and natural on the back. And that one is 450 $205. I will definitely offer a free Moldavite chip with each one of the tourmalines. I have water things. And last but not least, this is a blue core watermelon tourmaline. Also from Namibia, really thick piece. This would make a crazy big pendant. Nice piece of jewelry, polished on both sides. This is six hundred dollars. Two hundred four is the skew, and you will get a free Moldavite chip with any of the tourmalines. Okay, Rhodochrosite. What am I gonna do here? So I have quite a bit of rhodochrosite stalactites from Argentina. Um, this is a mine that's been owned by the Argentinian government for a really long time. It's a gold mine. I wanted to claim something. Got to go sleep. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good night. And we'll see you next week. Feel free to send me a message. Uh, we'll get you an invoice. And if there's anything else that you wanted, this goes for anybody and everybody. Um, I am almost always available for direct messaging. If you want to see something that either you've seen here or that you don't see here, we have an extensive inventory. And I'm happy to show you stuff privately during the week. Okay, so rhodochrosite stalactites. I'm going to start with this guy. So this is the Capellita, or Capellitas mine, C-A-P-I-L-L-I-T-A-S, Capellitas, is that right? Capellitas, yeah, the double L is, a, is like a Y. So this is like an infinity or an eight. This is a full stalactite. 
and this is a super cool piece. This particular mine has been closed for a while. Uh, the Argentinian government actually, I believe, owns the mine. It's been mined for gold and silver for a really long time. Um, I don't foresee getting any rhodochrosite out of it again ever, possibly. Um, there are some material, there's a little bit of material coming off the dump piles, and it's obviously very limited. This is a ridiculously cool piece. Uh, this could be kept as a complete stalactite, stalactite, or it could be sliced, and that would make quite a number of really cool pieces for jewelry. I imagine you're going to get at least four eights, four or five eights out of that. Um, but it's super cool. It doesn't have to be cut. Uh, it is polished on that face. And so this piece is $190. 448 is the SKU number. And that one is way cool. Super cool. And we have quite a range of things to offer in these. Uh, some that are a lot more affordable. Uh, this one here is a stalactite that has some other rough growing around it. Uh, it's kind of like a flower type formation. And this one is $25. 444. Wee! I'm going to try to pick up the pace a little bit so that I can get to everything. And then maybe I can show you some more mold device at the end. Uh, this one right here is fully polished around everything that you see there. Natural on the back. It's kind of like... I don't know, it's like a bottom lip or something. Good color, nice red jemmy color, translucent. And this one is $45. Claim 444. Thank you, Miss Condry. We really appreciate you. That is a lovely piece. Uh, Will Wynn, this is a, these are rhodochrosite stalactites uh, from Argentina from a gold and silver mine. Rhodochrosite is a uh, manganese carbonate. It's basically a calcite that has a lot of manganese in it. Uh, this one's got really cool layers here. Let me zoom in. Uh, sometimes they have pyrite as a layer. I can't, I mean, can't tell. Is that pyrite? Yeah, this is totally a layer of pyrite in between the rhodochrosites here. So this is like a brown layer of rhodochrosite and then a pyrite layer and then... <clears throat> a rhodochrosite core, and that is a almost complete stalactite. This part is missing there, but that would make a killer set for jewelry. If this one doesn't get claimed, I will probably cut that into four pieces because that's going to be four pieces that all look the same. That'll make two killer pairs of earrings or four really nice pendants. And when I cut them up, that's definitely going to be more than 100 bucks. That's a really good deal. It's 100 bucks, 445. Let's keep that one here. Let's do this. Super, super. That one's really fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here's a little group of stalactites. One, two, three, four, five. Little circle things. Look, there's a face. It's like a. It's like the yippers or something. Yip 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 yip. Uh, yeah, super cool. It uh, also can be sliced. You can get like four good slices out of that if you are inclined to cut it. By all means, it's not necessary. Uh, some people do. Some people don't. It's, so it's nice and complete as it is. You can sort of see the crystalline type growth on the outside. And this one is $70, 446. It's a really nice piece. And next up, this is another affordable one. It's got a nice little group there. And yeah, what you see there is what you get and that one is 30 bucks 447 zoom out a little bit again so you can see them all make sure I don't cover up the numbers in case you want to claim and here's a big one this is the this is an end cap end cut of a stalactite uh, 
There's got to be some anthropomorphism going on in there. It's like a... I don't know what that is. It's like a something inside of an egg or E.T., Nicole says. E.T. E.T. Rhodochrosite. <laughs> Super cool one there. This is a pretty big piece. It's like two and a half inches. And that one is $250. Super cool piece. Please re-show the moldavite rings. Yep, no problem. They're really easy to show. I have, this is, let me zoom out. This is type one. They are the minis. I have them from size four all the way to size 10. There's two shapes. There's round and there's oval. Get off there, come on. Right. Rounds and ovals. These are $60 each. And they each come with a free Moldavite chip. Uh, we ship from North Carolina, and we ship every day. And we have we built an entire fulfillment center, and we have very fast shipping. We broke our record the other day. We got 622 orders out in one day. And we ship all over the world. We have really reasonable rates uh, because we have very uh, strong agreements with all of the shipping companies. So this is Type Two, Jersey Eats. Uh, they go from six to, I'm pretty sure we have tens. Um, most of them are ovals. Most of them are simple setting, They're simple raw. bezel. They're raw Moldavite, um, not faceted. I guess I should make that clear. And if you want to tell me a size and I can show you some, if you decide you want to go with that, those are $85 and you get a free Moldavite chip along with the purchase. Hope I answered your question, Selena. We ship all over the world. Uh, we ship from North Carolina. And we have really reasonable shipping rates because we have agreements with all of the companies. Okay, the next rotocross site that I have to show. Prices are all in USD, Selena. Uh, charge for shipping to Canada, BC. Uh, it does depend on the weight, but um, we have really good rates with UPS uh, Economy Mail Innovations, which is really inexpensive. So we can ship for less than $10. And if you want it super fast, we can ship for about $30 uh, for Express Mail. It'll get there really quickly. All our prices are in USD. Uh, Jersey Eats, if you want to let me know which type. If you want to claim, uh, go ahead. I'm claiming type 1 or type 2 and a size 7, and I'd be happy to show you that. Move on to the rotocrosites. Uh, this is a really cool group of stalactites. Um, it's just a bunch of eyes. You're welcome, Selena. Polished all on many sizes, many places. And this one's just so cool. What did I price that one? Okay, yeah, super neat. I love this piece. I really do. This one's like one of the coolest ones. Just because it's got all the... It's like little wormholes. And there's got to be some, like, creatures in there. It's kind of... look. You know what? I see it now. It looks like a dog. Like, there's a face and his neck and the chest and then the feet. And it's sitting down like this. Or maybe a bunny with a really long neck. Okay. So that one is 140 Okay, so Jersey Eats wants to claim Jersey G Eats or Greats or um, I'm not sure how you say yet, but uh, so what do you, let's see, do you want a round or do you want an oval and a seven? Uh, these are, she said she thinks she's a seven. So these are the two. Uh, the teardrop is only on the other type. These are $60, and you get a free Moldavite chip, so I'm happy to put this one aside for you if you confirm. It's a really nice uh, really nice stone. And let me see this really quick. That's a seven. 
go ahead and confirm it for me and I'll put it aside. And I'll get you a little mold of white chip. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. No problem. So there we go. Yeah, they all are. Teardrop is not this type. This type only has uh, rounds and ovals. The teardrop is type two. Okay, I'm happy to do that. I'll put this aside. Uh, I think she's still hold, she's still thinking about stuff. Let me think. So in size seven teardrop, this is the only teardrop that I have that's in the tray. That's a seven. Let me double check it. And I do have some other ones. I might be able to find it. Yep, that's a seven. Let me know if that one works for you. These are $85. That's okay. I'll set both of those aside. And when you make up your mind, just let me know. And let me show you really quickly. Show them to you together. Uh, yes, we do have teardrop in size eight. Um, I put one in here earlier. This is a teardrop. Uh, it's kind of a teardrop. This one is a teardrop. Yeah, that's the one that we had. What are those? If you're talking about the rings, this is Moldavite. All our Moldavite is guaranteed to be authentic. I've been doing business with the Czech Republic since 2003. That's a size 8. Sintelart Co. I hope I said that right. Um, if you'd like that one, confirm. Let me know. I may be able to find something else. Yeah, she's still deciding, but set those aside. That's Jersey Eats. And um, she may ask me to bring them back if she decides. So here's a size 8 teardrop for Cintelart Co. If you would like. Um, I may be able to find another one in a pile that is not in this tray. The majority of what we have are ovals. And that one can go there. Okay. I'm going to move back on to the roto. Uh, the rings, the small rings are $60 each, this size, and you get a free Moldavite chip included with that. And the others are $85 a piece. You also get a free Moldavite chip. And we have all the sizes. So uh, the, that tray over there is type one, this is type two. If you are interested in claiming, uh, please say a type and your size and we will pull one for you and confirm it. Type one is faceted, type two Ta is raw. Correct, type one is faceted, type two is raw. The next rotocrosite that I'm gonna show. Uh, yes, we do have raw pendants. I am going to get through the rotocrosites now, and uh, if I have any time left over, I'll show raw pendants. You can also direct message me. I have uh, at least two different styles of raw pendants. I will give you a brief uh, overview. I don't want to get too caught up in this because it's really easy to get sidetracked, but if you want... Uh, so I have raw pendants like this. This is sort of on the smaller side. I have larger ones. This one is $200. That's sterling silver, and that's a lot of Moldavite. You're definitely welcome to direct message me. I'll answer you either after the show or tomorrow. Um, Melotope has, I did show Ahoites. I can recap them for you. Uh, so Beltsy, I have this type, and I have different sizes, and then I have this type. This type is a little bit less expensive. This one's 165, this one is 200. And I have a lot of different sizes in these types. They're both sterling silver. Uh, this one is sort of caged. There's more silver and less moldavite. And this one is more moldavite and less silver. And if you want, I'm happy to show you those later. Uh, let me see. So, Cali Crystals, can I see 7B second tray real fast? The band, yes. Thanks, Raf. Uh, come on. So, here's the band. Okay. 
Callie Sister Crystals. There you go. Let me know if that is sufficient for you and if you'd like to see. Almost all the bands are exactly like this. There's only a couple that are a little different, but the majority of them are very similar. Uh, those Cali Crystal Sisters are $85, and you get a free Moldavite chip with each ring. Beltsy, I appreciate it. You can DM me. I will get to you after the show or first thing in the morning. I'm on the East Coast, so I'm up really early. I'll probably be up at 7. And if you're on the West Coast, then I'll talk to you in the morning. Um, I may get to you after the show. It depends on if I get through this stuff. Um, but I do, last, last week I didn't get a chance to even finish half the stuff that I had available, so I definitely want to keep going to try to make sure that I get through this. Uh, I think I answered that. Cali Crystal Sisters is $85. So here's another rotocrosite. This is a killer stalactite. Uh, really nice. It's like a flower. It's like a cloud. And this one is 140 And it's getting really hot in here. <laughs> Uh, you can, but it's probably pretty it's hot out there. Hotter. I have the AC, I've got an AC that's uh, a quiet AC that's on the way. It'll be here on Tuesday, but it won't be Yay. it won't be installed right away. So, but soon we will have a nice quiet AC and we will not melt. Here's another cool, very cool rotocrosite. This is almost like a duck. I just need to like polish a triangle right here, and it'll be like a quack <laughs> quack. You don't see the duck? It's missing a beak. Well, yeah, it's missing the beak. Okay. So it's not a duck. It's 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 just a rotocrosite duck without a beak. <laughs> Shut up. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> uh, we're having fun over here. So the uh, duck without a beak is $125. Um, I might have to discount it because the beak is gone. Uh, <laughs> make me an offer. <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious. Okay. Next one. Uh, this one is like got this like fireworks going on here, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stalactites there. And same thing on the back side. It's like this nice little flower. Spooky eyes. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, it does. With the, it looks it's like, like skull eyes. there's definitely something going on here. It's like a face and. I mean, both sides of that are just really cool. So uh, I'm not even really sure what to call it. This one is pretty affordable. I think I underpriced that, uh, 70 bucks. But I'm getting them direct from people who are digging them off the, uh, off the dumps. And I can offer them for really reasonable prices. The ones that I bought in Tucson a bunch of years ago, I would have to charge like at least double for all of these. So I'm offering them for really reasonable prices. Uh, there's another nice, mostly complete circle. And that one is $90, 435 And here, this is the largest one that I have to show tonight. And this one is like... That definitely looks like eyes. I don't know what kind of eyes, but it looks like eyes. And if you guys have any inclination towards lapidary at all, this stuff is very soft and it's very easy to polish. Uh, so if you had a lapidary club or if you had a machine, you could totally just buff that off really easily and then you'd have polish on the backside. Uh, that's really cool. It's kind of like a spy mask or something. Oh, you know what it is? It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle eyes <laughs> in pink. It's what? Without the shell. Without the shell. There you go. This one. Girl teenage mutant yes, ninja. it's the it's the girl Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle eyes. 275. Okay, so Jersey Eats is a size 6. She had to remeasure. That's good. I'm glad you measured. Um so these are sevens. Yeah, and she liked uh, she let's see. She she wanted a round one. Let me pick a really nice one here. Okay, so put the seven back in there. Um, teardrop. Okay, teardrop. And, uh, 
Are you exactly a six? I've got six and a half in a teardrop. Mm, this other. Oh, no, there's a teardrop. That's going to be a six. Okay, so. There's a six. And the teardrop for 85. And for 60, the faceted stone. Q U Q I I. I will happily show you the bracelet. Uh, Jersey Eats, if you want. Uh, I've got these set aside for you here. Uh, you make feel free to let me know if you want one of those. And the bracelet for I don't know how to say that name. Q U Q I I. Cookie. Here's your here's the bracelet. Uh, this is faceted. It's really nicely made. She said teardrop. Thank you, Jersey Eats. And she got a... Um, she got a chip. Okay. Super. So the teardrop is 85. Uh, so this bracelet is 7 and 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, that is... I don't know if you know your bracelet size. That would probably fit a man. Uh, unless you're a monster. Do you want to put it on my bracelet? No, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, so this is uh, 7.4 grams, $425, and comes with a free mobile chip. Let me know if you would like to see that again. There is a really nice necklace there, too. Uh, the price is $425 USD on the bracelet. If you'd like to claim it, let me know. I'm going to keep moving on, and I'm happy to show you anything else you want to see that's still on the table. And the next row to Crocite is this little stalactite, guys. It's an affordable one. They're all really affordable. It just depends on what you're looking for in size. All right, D says, tray one, size six oval. Um... All right, size six oval D, let me show you. Okay, there's a size six oval. Does that work for you? It's a nice one. And we're gonna get you a mold white chip too. Ooh, there's a big one. There's your Moldavite chip. D, just go ahead and confirm for me. All right, she said yes. I think the chip is bigger than the ring. Whee! Awesome. Thank you so much, D. Uh, okay, back to this. This is an affordable piece. It's 30 bucks. Nice little rotocrosite stalactite. It's got good color. It's got some nice eyes. Polished on both sides. And eight, it's number 80, but it's only 30 bucks, even though it says 80. It says the price right there, but I gotta cut it right, right there, cut that side, and then it says three. Mm. Just kidding. All right, so we got that one. And the next rotocrosite. All right, Sam Bryan Jr. 436, awesome. Uh, sorry, Jay Condry, Sam beat you to it. I did see your claim. I appreciate you. Um, I have quite a lot of this material, so I'm happy to show you something else in the future. So that's Sam Bryan Jr. for a crossite. So here's another stalactite. This one is really cool. It's polished on both sides here. It's like a small circle there, and it's like embedded in the larger circle there and this one is really good color that's 441 110 dollars that's a super piece and miss condry here's another one that's really really neat Nice color, polished on both sides. Good circle. That one's number 
433, $22. Comes with a free hair. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Trying to not be a gorilla during the show and sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> Uh, cool. So that one's 433. And we'll zoom out a little bit here. Hey, quit laughing at me. And the next one. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. This is kind of like a. Kind of looks like a face. Oh, looks like a like a band here. It's got some cool stuff here. This one is four thirty two, seventy five dollars. There we go. I really like this stand. I think it works really well. Yeah. Cool. So here is uh, a single slice, complete circle. Good for making jewelry. This one's eighty five dollars, four thirty one. Four thirty two on the back side, yep, no problem. This is four thirty two again. Oh, I know why you want to see that. Don't let my wife see it. There's a heart. <laughs> That's a winner. That's definitely a winner. And we do uh, you know what? This is the last stalactite, and then all the rest of what we have are the hearts, uh, the polished hearts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's that. So that is all of the rhodochrosite stalactites that I have to offer tonight. I'm happy to go over them again. Uh, I should have put them on a piece of paper, but... Um, let's just recap really quickly. So let me start here. So this one's 85. This is number 431. You need paper now? No, it's okay. This one's 45. That's four, 443. It's the number. This one is $30. It's almost a heart. This one is 140. This one's 275. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This is ET. ET Egg. Uh, this one is Infinity. 190. This one is 70. This one is the, it's like a llama or something. That's what it is. It's an alpaca. <laughs> yeah, I see that. That one's 140. This one is 90. <laughs> Great minds love hearts. You should see, I'll, I'll show you my wife's heart collection one day. Probably shouldn't do that live though. <laughs> <laughs> This one is a hundred. This is one twenty-five. This one is seventy. That's cool. Googly eyes. This one is one ten. And seventy-five. So those are the stalactites. And uh, what's the best way to do this now? I think so. Let me zoom out. No, I need to do it like this. 
So I have a group of hearts. These are all polished. Uh, this is definitely not the best way to show these. These are all of these hearts are $25 a piece. Ugh, this is not the way to do it. Um, maybe I should get a. You know what? I'm just going to put these back in the box. Well, why don't I do that while you show the hearts? Okay, I'll show the hearts. Uh, so we're gonna gonna blast through these hearts really quickly. So these are all twenty five dollars a piece. This is four thirty. Is the skew? And half of them have bands, and half of them have other types. Four twenty nine. You throwing Throw stones. stones? You throwing stones over there? This one, four twenty-four. Miss Condry, if you want me to slow down, or if you want me to show you something else, or whatever, I'm happy to go over these again. This one's really cool. It's got like little flowers inside. It's like flower bursts. That one is four nineteen. This one is four twenty. Uh, Roto beads. We do have lots of rotocrosite bracelets on our website, on our Etsy. We've got quite a number of them. Uh, I think we have individuals as well as uh, stock photo ones. I don't have any loose beads. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you're looking for, Melatopaz, but we do have bracelets. There's 422. So all the hearts that I'm showing are $25 a piece. And if you buy a couple, I'll throw something in or I'll give you a discount. Uh, maybe either Moldavite chip or a discount if you buy a couple. There's 423. Or 25. And I have three more. And all of these I can show by DM as well. Oops. Or similar ones. 426. I uh, decided to order a lot of these. I'm going to have these in my Etsy shop because I love them. And I've got somebody who's willing to cut them for me for a good price. So I'm going to offer them. All right, last one. This is 428. So there's a group of them that are banded. And there's a group of them that are... Practice doing this here. Watch that. No, it's not too bad. All right, four twenty seven. Thank you, ma'am. Sam Bryan. Uh, these are all $25 a piece, Beltsy. Sam Bryan wants $428, which is this one, and $421. Super. Thank you, Sam Bryan. I appreciate you. Uh, no, they're not beaded. Yes, you're welcome to DM later. I have a bunch more of these, too. I could probably explode your mind. If you, I know you love these hearts. We can definitely show you some of these during the week. That's not a problem. Uh, they are not beaded. They are as is. Um, they could be set. That's a really nice one. $25 a 
$25 each. And to make a necklace, it doesn't have a whole Fembar essence. Um, they could be set in silver. They definitely could be bezel set. Um, we don't, there's no they're hole. Drilled. There's there's no hole, they're not drilled. So they're not ready to put a string on it. They would need either a hole drilled or a bezel set. No problem. Alrighty. So if you guys are done with those, I think I'm going, I got, I'm gonna show these other rotos. I got four little faceted stones, or these are little cabochons. Um, I'm gonna show you these. So these are special because this is rotocrosite from Japan. Uh, I've been exhibiting in Japan at the biggest mineral shows there since 2008. It was the first time we went and uh, threw in a Moldavite chip with two hearts. Do you want another Moldavite chip, Sam, or do you want me to find something else for you? You've already got a couple Moldavite chips, but I'm happy to give you another one if that's what you want. Just let me know. I've got lots of other stuff. I can figure out something else too. Or I can toss that one in. No problem. Up to you. So these are from Japan, from the Opu mine. And they're really gemmy. And they're not very expensive. Cool. Yeah, so add that to Sam's. I got you, Sam. I got you another chip. So I think that's... Yeah, you got a handful of chips. So these are... Pretty reasonable for uh, really gemmy rhodochrosite from Japan. Uh, minerals from Japan are a little bit difficult in general. They don't produce a lot of stuff. Uh, this one's 25, this is L71, 171. This so 172, that one's 30. Oops. And this one is 25. And 20. That's the last of the rotocrosite that I have to show you tonight. All right. So, does anybody want to recap on Ahoite? Is I know somebody was asking about Melotopaz. You want to see the Ahoite again? Um, some of these I showed the other night, but I do have a few crystals. I'll show you really briefly, if you're still with us. Uh, this one's 150. It's got a little phantom in the top there. And this one's 100. And it's got a little off white running down this side right here. And this one native copper phantom with a little bit of a white it's kind of hard to see it's right in there right, yeah right there there is a little bit that's a really cool piece anyways I'm happy to show you all of those again and what do we got 10 30 and i think no there's a whole other box over there I was going to say, we showed most of what we had previewed, but I've got plenty of other rocks together. I'm moving a little faster than I did last week, which is good. Yep. All right, I'm going to work with you for a second here, Melo Topaz. The native copper piece is 150. And let me see if I can show it a little better. Super heavy on the native copper. It's got a little smidgen of ahoite in there. It's a little difficult to see, but there's a little bit in here and there's a little bit on that just above the, the phantom line on the copper. And that copper's super. It's got some pematite and epidote. And again, that one's 150.
a little bit of copper. Sorry. A little off white right there. That one's a hundred. That one's also 150. Nice jewelry size piece. And there's some right here. That one's a hundred. That's all the natural crystals that I have that are out on the table. Uh, I do have some others that I will show. I can show you privately. Uh, if you want to DM me, I can show them to you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, no, Selena, the rotocrosite hearts were all $25 a piece. The skews were in the 420 to 430 range. Uh, you want to bring those back real quick? Thanks. So, yeah, no, 430, that'd be crazy. These are 25 bucks. Um, they're really, actually, really reasonable. I definitely think that could be like a 40 or $50 stone. Um, but I got good deals on them, and we are passing along. Uh, Collegia, the Ahoite. Yes, we did the Ahoite a couple times now. I have four natural pieces and about four or five pendants. And Selena, if you see anything that you like, those are the ranges. This one's a little bigger, but it's still $25. So if you want to see any of those again, uh, just leave it right there. Collegia, one more time. This one's 100. This one's 150. Uh, this is 450. That one's polished. This is native copper. That's 150. This is $300 pendant. This is a $250 pendant. This one's three and a quarter. This one is 900. It's a lot of ah white for the, color, for, the, for the price. And then we have the signature piece. That one's 1,400 with gold and silver. Ah white angel feather wing. Uh, we do accept PayPal. We uh, would prefer to settle up either at the end of the show or if you want to see some more stuff, we can. I can show you some stuff by DM, but we don't like to keep open boxes because we have like over a thousand orders a week that go out and uh, we have got a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we, we, we would prefer not to do an open box um, we offer really affordable shipping, uh, like I told you. So um, I'll hold it for a little while, depending on what you're interested in. You know, if you want a lot of material and you want to save on some uh, on shipping, I can do that. Um, but it's better for us to get them out the door as fast as we can. Appreciate it, Kalija. Thank you. Okay. Uh, these can go. All right, I'm going to move on and show some other stuff. I'm gonna do uh, Sujolite bracelets or necklaces or not necklaces, beads. I don't know if that woman's coming back for that. I'm pretty sure that's a size eight. All right, so these went really quickly last week. And I had a couple of these. Um, this is the first Sujolite. These are 16-inch uh, bead necklaces. Oh, sorry, they're not necklaces, they're just beads. Um, I will say that they're a little bit better color to my eyes than what I see on my phone. 
So this is the first the first one that I have to offer. This is a hundred dollars, four sixty six. It is a super super piece. It's really hard to get Sujalite beads these days. This is all from the 1980s. I bought out someone who bought this in 1980 when it first came out. And she retired. And I bought a lot of her Sujalite. All of the beads that she had left. There's another one. This is super. I'm going to zoom in again. It's got nice contrast. No, Nick, you can't have these. I know you're watching. <laughs> uh, spelling Sugilite, S-U-G-I-L-I-T-E. It's technically pronounced Sugilite. Sugilite. Uh, Dr. Sugi in Japan it was the first person who found it. They do find Sugilite in Japan, but it's not purple. But they named it after Dr. Sugi. And then they found it in uh, South Africa. Uh, can I get a ruler? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, let's see here. So, these are 6 mm wide and about almost 9 in length. Chami Sujalite is to die for. I'm a Sujalite specialist and a Sujalite junkie, and I have seen some of the best Sujalite that would melt your brain. Most people don't even know the quality exists that I have seen and that has passed through my hands. Uh, I'm actually the international agent for one of the biggest and most important Sujalite buyers in the world. And I am regularly searching for rough for this buyer and unfortunately I usually don't have any of it to offer for too many other people but the prices that this guy pays would also melt your brain and I definitely can't afford to keep the stuff that he buys and the prices that he pays uh, and that's just how it goes one day I'll show you some of the best stuff I do have some ridiculously good material but I don't have it for sale um, but I do have a lot of Sujalite I have a lot of tumbles and I have a lot of beads. It's definitely one of my favorite minerals, too. I have a love affair with Sujalite. Uh, it is the stone of dreams, and it absolutely has helped to catalyze my dreams in this industry and to help us create quite an operation that we've got going on here. And I have a very deep respect for Sujalite. Uh, anyway, so this, this is beads... This is $80. I don't think that if these were cut today that I could offer these for anywhere near that price. It would probably be double that price, but because I bought these from a person who was retiring, who had them cut in the 1980s, uh, they are reasonably priced. So there's two strands there. That's uh, 180 470 Fembara, congratulations. $80. That's quite a that's quite a good claim. Alright. The next one. It's a little bit darker. I have to really get it up close so that we can see that it does have color. I had a hard time getting my phone. Uh, didn't if it didn't have so much and so broke at the same time. Yeah, I understand. It's hard not to want all the sujalite. Whenever I see a good sujalite, I'm just like, ah, I've, I've mortgaged the house for sujalite <laughs> more than once. <laughs> the first time I bought a big load of sujalite, I oh, I didn't really know that much about it, and I mortgaged the house, and I came home with an entire truckload of it. And that got me started, and it was crazy. I have pictures of the whole driveway full of Sujalite. That was eight years ago, and I wish I could do that again. Don't worry, I have plenty of Sujalite. 
If you need, when you have money, just contact me, send me a DM. I do have tumbles for sale. I have literally an entire drawer of tumbles. Um, you'll have to DM me for those. I'm not going to show those tonight. That'll be in it. I'll, I'll do that next week as far as in a live show for sure. Um, but I do have literally like, I don't know, six different qualities. Uh, none of it's unbelievable, but there's some good stuff there. So T and me forever, when you are not broke again and you want Sujalite, send me a DM. I'm happy to show you Sujalite. Don't you worry. I have a lot of these beads and I have a lot of tumbles. So this is a bigger strand. Uh, it's actually the same length, but it's a lot heavier because the beads are a lot bigger. And this one is $100. It's a little bit darker. But it does have color. It's not just black. It took me a while to get my camera to really show me the color. When when it was daylight, it was when daylight was coming through the window, I was having a really hard time. I was definitely not happy with my phone. 467, Sam Bryan. You're on a roll, Sam. That's a really good strand. That is like T and me forever said, that is a steal. I do I just I was like, huh? Yep. I don't know if I will offer these at that price again, but we'll see. I do have a little bit more. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate you. Yeah, those rondelles are really cool. All right. This is the next strand of Sujolite. And it's also a dark strand does have color. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. I think those purples and pinks would pop. I do, you, T and me, you'd be surprised how much lighting I have. <laughs> it, they're just dark. Um, I, you know, I could put a, a yellow light on and the, the, the pinks would come out. For sure. Sujolite is a color shift mineral and it goes a lot more pink. Yes, it is J. Kate. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful purple. Uh, so this one is a little bit less expensive. This one's $60 for this strand. It is 468 is the SKU number. And again, I have to get really close to my phone to get the color to come through. And it's the phone, not the lighting. Believe me, I've battled with it all day. So I see more color with my eyes than I see on the phone. Just FYI. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, actually, you know what? T and me, you should probably turn your phone off right now because I have a strand that is going to hurt you. Um, they are 16-inch strands. I have one more strand that I'm going to show. This one is an expensive strand. It's not crazy expensive, but it's expensive. Much more than these. And you know, you'll you'll know why as soon as you see it. So this is the the one really good strand that I have tonight. It's also 16 inch. It's loose, obviously, it's just a strand of beads. It's a much better color. It's a different price bracket. It's super hard to get this quality. And these were cut in the 1980s. And this strand is $280, number 469.
<laughs> That's all the sujolite that I have to show you tonight. I didn't prepare a lot of sujolite, but I definitely will do tumbles next week. I could spend an hour on tumbles because I have a lot of them. I've kind of been hoarding them. Okay, so to recap. Oops. This one's 100. Super, super reasonable for the quality. Um, well, these are loose strands, so you could definitely buy two of them. <laughs> um, I guess it's not impossible to make a 24 inch strand, but then I'm going to be left with eight inches of beads, which you know what? I could just make a bracelet. So it wouldn't be the end of the world. And I probably can match them. I'm pretty sure I have something similar. So at least in this shape, I know I have more of these. So if you want to claim one, I can probably match another one for you in a direct message. So this one's 100. That's 466 is the skew. Same quality of this. Uh, I don't know if I have another one like this. So I'd, I'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure that this is the only one in this quality. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. But send me a message, and I'll check tomorrow and see if I can find one. So this one's 280, and this one is 60. And that's what I got tonight for Sujolite. So I'm going to shift these over. If you want to see them again, let me know. And let's see what else. We've got some garnet situations going on over here. I'm going to try to go through these a little bit quickly. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Uh, garnet included smoky quartz spheres that I have to show. Um, 24 inches. I know, I, just, I don't know if I can match the quality. I know I have other beads that shape. Well, actually, this is thin in shape too. I'd have to look. So, Let's talk about it after the show or tomorrow. Send me a direct message and I'll see what I can do. I can't promise you that I can make it 24 inches. I can with another type of Sujolite for sure. So smoky quartz with garnets. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. These are from China. This one is 30. This one is 15. Thank you, Sacred Gemology. I appreciate it. I'll do the best that I can. Oh, these are going to roll. I should probably keep these in the box here. This one is also 15. garnet crystals in smoky quartz what are you doing you taking notes <laughs> that's what I mean hmm? oh. <laughs> multitasking mm -hmm. nice this one's 20 You guys interested in these? 
or should I move on? Uh, let's see here. All right, this guy. This is a quartz cabochon that has a bunch of little anhydras in it. Every single one of those little pockets has a bubble. Uh, rock dealer, those other ones are smoky quartz spheres with garnets inside. That's what these are. Sujolay pendants. Uh, I have a bunch of those listed on my Etsy shop right now. I just listed them not too long ago. Um, and I do have some that are not listed that I will show maybe in the show next week. Uh, so if anybody's into anhydras, this is kind of cool because every one of those little cavities has a bubble. You, I kind of can't point them out, but you can see them, and they do move. Watch this one on the top here. You know, it, it moves. Let me get it off the glare. It only moves a little because the cavities are really small. But there's literally like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like tw at least 20 little bubbles in here. And you can see them when you have a loop. You, if your eyes are really good, you can see them without a loop. Uh, I need a loop now, or I need a phone to zoom in on them. I gotta go get glasses. I'm not happy about that. So, that's really neat. I can't even count how many, but I bet you there's 25 bubbles in that. And this is 100 bucks. And let's see, I've got a couple of these. We got cut off last week when I was doing these. This is Rainbow Garnet from, from Japan. That one is a big single crystal. That one's 40. And he's a nice little guy. Really nice shape. This is Androdite Rainbow Garnet from Japan. Good for wire wraps. That one's 20 bucks. Um, we got a couple more of those. Do I have any quartz crystal lovers in here that are like really into weird types of quartzes? Like this is tiny, but this is so cool. This is like, I'm a quartz, super crazy quartz junkie. And this is super small, but this is a Japan Law Twin Quartz. It's double terminated and it makes a V in one direction and then goes in the other direction and I've only seen it from this one place in Japan I did see one I have one in my collection from Colombia but this is ridiculously rare Japan law twins are pretty I wouldn't say rare they come from a lot of places they're really special but double terminated Japan law twin is almost unheard of and it's from Japan which makes it even cooler uh, it is really small, I'm not going to lie. It's one of the tiniest little crystals that I've ever offered for sale. Um, but it's ridiculously cool. And this one is 40 bucks. I have a few other ones that are 25 and 30 bucks. This, I believe, is the best one. It's not something you see every day. And here's another one. This one's got a, a little sidecar. It's a double terminated Japan Law Twin. Might be one of the rarest quartz habits that I know of. And that one is 35. Let me 
I'll show you one more of those. One more tiny little guy. Look at that. It's like a fish. Yeah, like an angel fish. It's definitely like a little fish. And it's small, but it's super, super, super rare. It's cute. That one is 25. Uh, 40, 35, and 25. That's 50, 60. I've got it marked at 100. Um, I actually have a fourth one. I'll tell you what. If you take those three for 100, you can have this one too. So I'll do all four as a group for 100. Yeah, super cool. Definitely not common. All right. Uh, this Condre, I didn't see your post. I didn't see your claim. I'm sorry. I did just have T and me claim all four of those. Um, I may be able to help you out in the future with one, though. So... DM me about hearts and we'll talk about it. So that is a claim for T and Me Forever on the four Japan Law pieces. Uh, that was a buy three, get one free. And I will throw in a little Moldavite chip as well. Yeah, so four pieces for 100 and a Moldavite chip. T and me. I'm gonna give you that one too. Yeah, this Instagram blocking comments thing is really annoying. Um, we may shift to a different method and do sale by text, where you can claim it by sending me a text, but that is a little bit complicated at the moment, but it's a different algorithm altogether. I mean, and it might be better that way because we completely get around the shadow banning of comments if we do that. Uh, I know it's really frustrating. This is only our second show, and we knew about the shadow banning of comments before we started, and we, you know, have a potential plan. Yeah, I didn't see too many comments. It was just you. I don't know if there were any other comments, but it's really uh, it's really hard. Anyhow, uh, Miss Condry, I really am. I apologize. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. I, I think it's. I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's intentional on Instagram's part. What they're trying to do is establish a paywall, because they know that everybody's selling live and they're making a bunch of money, and that Instagram doesn't make anything. So they're figuring out ways to. Um, try to make money on it. And so they've come up with this idea where they have these badges that you can purchase and the badges supposedly make your comments show up. And it's kind of ridiculous. And there's definitely ways around it. And like I said, I think we might go to a purchase by text method. And, you know, if we do that, since we're new, we're going to keep going this way, and if it turns out that we really need to go in that direction, then we'll do something about it. Uh, this is a really nice rainbow garnet cluster. It says send that fourth one to Jay Condre. Send the fourth one to Jay Condre. Oh, you're so sweet. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, so it looks like you you were just given a crystal, Jay Condre. Uh, I think, let me pick out the, let me make sure it's the right one. That's really awesome of you. Wait, she says I'm good. <laughs> you guys work it out. <laughs> Keep it on the opposite side. Figure it out. 
Anyhow, uh, so this is a rainbow garnet cluster. This is from Japan. Uh, this uh, clusters are really hard to get. This is a nice size crystal. And this one is $75. Okay, uh, one last rainbow garnet, and then I've got some other stuff we can see. We're, running, we're getting down to the wire here. We have a four hour time limit. Instagram cut me off at four hours exactly last week, so I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. So the, here's the last rainbow garnet that I have to show. This is a single crystal. This is, again, this is from Japan. Really nice color, pretty good shape. This is thirty dollars. Okay. I think I showed this last week. I can't remember if that it might have been at the very end of the show. I know I showed this in the uh, preview last Saturday, which was it's sort of our dry run. Um, but this is a pretty cool piece. Uh, the $20 garnet did not sell. That's this one. T and me if you want that one, it is available. <laughs> I'll send you some snacks, how about that? <laughs> Buy crystals, get stick sandwiches too. <laughs> okay, I think that's a. I think she wants it. I assume. I assume that's a commitment. So twenty dollars, twenty dollars on that, and we'll send her a piece of chocolate. <laughs> awesome. Oh, she's vegan, so it has to be vegan chocolate. Chocolate chips right here. <laughs> ramen. <laughs> ramen. Oh man, I don't get me started on ramen. Okay, so I love ramen. That's one of our favorites. Okay, so this is if I don't know if you're familiar with Hinayana Buddhism, but the concept of the rainbow body is the highest form of enlightenment in Buddhism. And it's basically when the Buddha literally turns into light. Uh, transcends the physical body and turns into a rainbow body and this is a very very cool uh, motif that I, I won't take claim to originating the idea but I definitely saw one and I was like you know what that's so cool and I've been buying these in high, uh, these rainbow crystals or pieces of rough and I was like I'm gonna have these cut and you can see into Buddhas so that you can see the rainbow Buddha in the front and what a cool concept and these don't always work out because the rainbow is just a it's basically a crack for lack of a for a blunt terrible way of saying it it's a, what they call a veil it's a crack in the crystal like it just happens naturally from uh, whatever pressure build up or something and expansion and stuff like that and so the rainbow, when you polish, when, you, when, you're, when you're applying water to polish this, the rainbow can disappear if the water gets inside of the crystal. And I lost a few rainbows, which was really a bummer. But it's just part of the process. I knew the risk of buying a piece of rough. Yeah, it is cool. You can see it from the back. But what's neat is, you know, the... the the motif of coming through the front is like it makes the rainbow body, which is just awesome. So this is in sterling silver. Uh, I bought the piece of rough specifically to have it carved and I gave it, I took it to the best carver in the crystal market. Uh, this was made in China by some really good friends of mine who I have visited in person several times there and the crystal capital of the universe is what they call it. 
Uh, they they like quartz more than almost anyone, and it blows my mind how much they have there. Um, I would say that Brazil might have some bigger crystal markets, but these people are absolutely bananas for quartz inclusions, and it's my kind of people because I am a nut for quartz inclusions. I just can't get enough, and so I love this market, and I had such a blast going there, and you know they all wanted to take pictures and videos of me, and oh, this white guy that showed up, and he's all into these crystals, and he knows what they all are, and they don't even really know what the inclusions are. They don't care. They're just like, oh, it's pretty. It's $500. And I'm like, oh, you guys don't even know what it is. And they're like, oh, so what? It's pretty. It's $1,000. I'm like, okay. And sometimes, I mean, I, I don't know what they all are. But a lot of times it's just like, wow. I mean, they have some of the best included quartzes at this market. This is at the Donghai market in China. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this one, I'm getting there. <laughs> so it's not inexpensive. This is $375. Um, I will be honest, it, I am not making very much on it because I had to buy the piece of rough. I had to have it carved. I had to have it polished. I had to have it set. I had to have it shipped. And the uh, carving alone was over a hundred bucks. So, uh, it's not unbelievable. It's not a crazy outlandish price. Um, I did have one that I sold for a couple thousand dollars that was just like blow your mind kind of quality. Uh, this one's also very good. And I'm trying to make it as reasonable as I can. I do have a couple others uh, that I can show you by private message. I have a few that are not set as well. They're just the carving and the motif without the silver. So if that's something that you're interested in and you're okay with the price point, uh, you feel free to send me a direct message. Very, very cool concept. Rainbow Body Buddha. And, oh, there's a bunch. No wonder I didn't see your comments. Okay. Uh, should be yours. I key. I have. I have mine. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm almost. Okay, there's a foreign language coming up. Uh, yeah. Sure. But it says this. See if uh. you translate it for me. Uh, this is $375. AJ. That's USD. And we're from America, North Carolina. Cool. So, quick recap. We got the Buddha. Got some rainbow garnets. Uh, we got this quartz with all the little bubbles inside and we got we got the sujolite a really nice piece of sujolite there's beads and keep going on with the recap here we have these awesome tiffany stones which i'm surprised that we didn't sell more of those but it is what it is. I have no problem holding on to them because they're really amazing. And we went over some tourmalines, some rhodochrosites from Japan. Uh, the sujolite beads, this one is $280. And this one is 100 And this one is 60 And they look Pretty incredible in the light. This is the best one that I have. That one's 280, 16 inches. This one is 100.
260. Yeah, two, 280. No problem here. Let me put let me put my phone back in my little thing. Oh. No, I just, I, yeah, it's good. I paused it for a second. Okay. Okay, somewhere in the Pacific. Here you go. 280. Let me zoom in. Native beach bum, the box to the left. Are you talking about the road across site? Uh, I'm happy to go over that again right after I show this. Fermenter Mentor got beads from us, and I think she would agree that they're better in person than they were on, on the phone. So there you go, somewhere in the Pacific. That one's 280. That is... Really awesome piece. I'm gonna pull this whole box here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do this. You can take that whole box away. Okay, I will briefly go over this box again. There's three really nice um, pieces of tourmaline. These are rhodochrosite cabochons from Japan. Those are in the $20 to $30 range. Um, briefly, we have uh, all of these rhodochrosite hearts. These are not these here, but these are $25 a piece. And then I have a group of stalactites. Uh, shipping, uh, we send you an invoice and we ship it to you really quickly. <laughs> um, if you're domestic, shipping is like five to twelve dollars, depending on what you get. If you're international, uh, ten to thirty, depending on the size and the time frame that you want to get it. Uh, we are very quick to ship. Um, most of the people got their stuff on Wednesday after our Sunday show. Uh, we have an entire fulfillment center that we built, and we have it on site here. We have 15 people in our shipping department. So we are very good at getting stuff out quickly. If you want to see any of this stuff up close, I'm happy to take it back out. Uh, the stalactites, uh, I think there's one that's like 22 is the lowest, and it goes up to 275 bucks for this one top part in the middle with the lighter color I'm talking about this one so native beach bum that one is uh, 424 I'll keep that off to the side here while I show these tourmalines So these are from Namibia. These are polished and ready to go into jewelry. Very nice watermelon. And this one is $260. And it's really big and thick, lots of carrots, lots of good weight there. That's the small one. This one, very nice color. Polished on the front, natural on the back. Very deeply saturated. That one's 450. All right, so the roto for native beach bomb is this one, 424. And the last one, somewhere in the Pacific. This one has a blue core. And it's really thick, and it's polished on both sides. And that was 600. 
The Sujalite beads, yeah, we measured this one before. This was, uh, I believe, 6.8 millimeters wide and 9.6 millimeters uh, length, something like that. We are in Western North Carolina. Yeah, let me get my phone back in this holster here. I really shouldn't move the phone very much. It's like it wants to... Let me just double check here. Yeah, sorry. So eight, eight and a half length. Um, they're 4.2 and 5 point... No, sorry. So you know what? I The numbers I gave you were totally wrong. That was a different one that I measured. So um, six wide... And then the, the second width is 4.25, and the length is just over 8. I hope that's helpful. I can do a little better when I'm not on camera if you want some more information. Okay. Were there comments that I missed? I need a beach bucket, like the second one for her mom. Okay, super. Uh, all right, let's see. Do you have a preference? Do you want one with bands? Or look at this one. Check this one out. This one's really cool. This is one of the bigger ones. This one has like little sprays and almost like a flower in it. That one's the one that you picked out is a larger size, and they're all one price. And then the smaller ones have bands. So. You just let me know. Uh, this one is uh, SKU 419. That one is 420. The first one is like, okay, so 419. Super. Awesome. Thank you so much. We got you down for those two. All right. I need to grab another flat. And it's 11.30. So, uh, let's do this. I know everybody loves this. Okay. We're going to go over some Moldavite. Well, let me ask. For those of you that are still here, would you like to see Moldavite, Indochinite Tektites, or Libyan Desert Glass. Or I can just show you all of it. Moldy. Yes, she said yes. All right, Moldavite. Sam's still here. We're gonna show we're gonna show some Moldavite. Alright. So I have raw and I have jewelry. Um, desert glass. I'll try to throw in a few desert glasses too. All right, so. Okay, so this is horseshoe. It's a natural shape. That's 48 bucks. This one has a hole. Uh, Angel Chimes, I have Moldavite, no, but I have uh, Desert Glass Angel Chimes. I actually haven't, I've only sold some privately and I haven't listed any and I really should do, oh, you know what? I showed some of those last week, didn't I? So I do have those. Uh, we can show those again. So this one's 23 bucks. That one's the hole. There's a horseshoe. There's a hole. This is the Wu-Tang Clan. On 60 bucks. Angel chime is when it, uh, it's like a singing crystal. When it, when you clang them together, it goes like ding, ding, ding. Makes like a really high pitched noise. I'll show you the, uh, the desert glass ones. Um, let me run through some of these real quick. Uh, so all these have names. That was the Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, this one is the Half Moon. That one is 110. The 
This one is the turtle head. Turtle head is a hundred. Uh, so those are the specialty Moldavite raw ones that we have. And then we have some less expensive B-grade ones that have a little bit of damage. This one's 35. All right, so that's to give you an idea. Uh, let's just put this on top here. So Angel Chime... Put this around here. Oops, that's not good. Two eighty six, Sam Bryan. Uh, B grade. I have some more B grade, Sam. If you want to see some more, let me know. I've got, uh, I don't know, another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pieces. So, Real Rock Dealer, this is what an Angel Chime looks like. It doesn't really give you an indication of what it does, but... So, it makes a chime. It's like singing Lemurians. So, this is the biggest chime that I have in Desert Glass. That's 92. And I've got a small little chime. It's 56. Here's another small one. So these are all Paleolithic tools. These are called flakes. Uh, these are actually uh, made into this shape by ancient people to use as like skinning tools and carving tools. The ones that are uh, thin and curved like this. It's actually really, really cool. So there's a few chimes. Yeah, it is kind of like an arrowhead. It's not completely into the shape. Like an arrowhead lingo, it's uh, it's called a flake. Uh, here's another B-grade piece of moldavite. It's got a little bit of damage there, but it's pretty good on three sides. That one's 35. And there's another one. Did she? Fermenter Mentor. Really? Mm -hmm. Fermenter Mentor. Someone on one of my other phones says that you made a claim, but I did not see the claim on my phone. So. Uh, three twenty-three ninety-two dollars, please. Uh, just for verification on on my phone, if you want to write it again, I do have it on. We've got three phones going, so we did get you there. Um, but go ahead, just so that I have it on my main phone. Yeah, the big chime. Okay, all good. Got you. Thank you, Raf. Thank you for mentor mentor. Very cool. Yeah, that one's a killer. That's one of the bigger chimes. I only had like three or four really big ones. That one has the widest head. It's super cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got... Moldavite pendants. <laughs> Great. I'm glad I pulled that one out. Thanks for uh, showing it. Oh, the green desert glass, you know, 
I only have. It's not. It's not as good as the one you want, man. Uh, I know the one you want. This one's green. I do have some more green. But I don't have a lot prepped right now for this show that's right in front of me. That one's fifty-eight. It's got the darkish inclusion. Um, let's put that one there. And, you know, this one is. That one's got a really nice, perfect thumbprint there. Look at that. It's like. <laughs> All right, Sam Bryan, 287 and 292. Both of the B grades. I, I'll show you a couple more, too, if you're interested. Um, I still got a couple more. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate you. I'm glad your comments are coming through. Yeah. No, I don't know about the most expensive worry stone. You know, that one that you like, my employee, one of my employees bought it. But she really likes it. She's probably watching. She's like, don't try to sell my stone. <laughs> Maybe one day she'd be like, you know what? That guy, he really needs my stone. She's going to come on and be like, shut up, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here's the the worry stone. It's 175. That's a cool piece. All right, back to this. <laughs> so, moldavite jewelry. This one's 165. It's pretty reasonable. And we've got this kind here. Uh, this is faceted. That one's 100. Beautiful stone, really good quality. All guaranteed to be natural and authentic. Not to worry. Here's another one, a larger facet. And let's see, Sam, here's a bigger piece. This is a second, this is, this is a B grade. And this one is, it's got a cut. It's got a couple cuts, but that's pretty reasonable. It's less than 20 bucks a gram. Mm, let's make that one close. Here. So that one's two, 285. Here's a couple other B grade ones. So, a little bit of damage there, but still a really nice piece. Good shape. So 290 is the rock dealer, the real rock dealer. And Jay Condry, um, is that a claim, Miss Condry? That one's 23, 23 bucks. I need some help, Raph. So that one is the real rock dealer. And 289. This one is Sam Bryan. First Insta Live purchase. Awesome, man. You know what? This is our second live show, so we're all new. Appreciate you being here. No problem, Miss Condry. You take your time. Sam, I'm just going to show the rest of these. I got three more uh, B grade ones.
unique long snack stone. You talking about the diamond I bought from you? <laughs> I'm never going to sell that Apex Gems. That that thing still blows my mind. It's one of the best pieces in my collection. Thank you so much. Uh, closest to the rings on the left. You talking about the Wu-Tang Clan? <laughs> That's It's more like a bird. It's like a like the pterodactyl. It's really thin. It's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That one's 60. All right, so we got two more B grade. Yep, I see Wu Tang. After the horseshoe, the one with the hole after the horseshoe is... Oh, there's... So this is the one with the hole right after the horseshoe. I showed you that a couple of times. And then there's this one. This is the um, this is the turtle head. That one's... That one's 100. And those are the only two with the hole that I have. So, Sam, I think we got three B-grade ones left here. This is the last one. And so, uh, the horseshoe is 48. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's the horseshoe. So I've got three B grade stones here. All right, Fermenter Mentor Horseshoe. That's such an awesome piece. The hole is 23. This one. 23 bucks. Oh, look, it's got a. Is that a heart? No, it's just a hole. It's still pretty cool, though. There you go, Danny. That's 23. Okay, Jay Condry, 23. Sorry, Danny, Jay Condry just uh, just uh, claimed that one. I'm glad you did. I have a feeling somebody else was gonna claim that. <laughs> okay, so we got three B-grade pieces, and then there's this one that's a bigger one. I've got uh, turtle head. Uh, we got the half moon. All right, Sam Bryan, 291 and 293. Awesome, thank you so much, Sam. Oh, my back. All right, we got 19 minutes. These are. This is for Sam. Awesome. Sam, I got you on those. Thanks again. Uh, we got the half moon it's still available. No problem. Miss Condry, I have patience is not my uh, my forte, but I'm doing pretty good at it here. <laughs> This is a nice thin one. You get a lot of surface area for the money here. That's usually when you get a piece that size, it's not three grams. It's usually like eight grams. So it's really thin, but that's pretty cool surface area wise. That's at 110. Um, let's see here. Uh, I should probably show this thing. For some reason, this one doesn't have a skew, but you gotta see this if you have, if you didn't see this last week. This is so cool. Come on, come on. Here we go. 
so this is a carving. So, a little bit of natural areas left up there. It's got some bubbles. This is carved by forged elements in Oregon. And this one is $400. It doesn't have a skew for some reason because I didn't skew it, but it's the only carving that I have available. Uh, well, it's the only carving in the show. I have a few other ones that I'll show at some point in the future. Uh, but it's a really amazing piece. I love how he cut these angles here so that the light reflects. And he still left this moon-looking landscape on the bottom there. So, all right, what else do we have to show you? I think we might be done. I got 15 minutes before Instagram's going to kick me off. So I could do, you guys want to see any more Moldavite jewelry? I haven't really seen a bunch of interest in that. Um, 288, Sam, loving that B-grade Moldavite. It's I shouldn't even call it B graded, so it's just got some a little bit of flaws to it, but super cool. Uh, the rainbow garnet we showed a few pieces. Do you want to see that again? Um, I actually, it was a similar. Well, you know, we got cut off last year. Um, this here. I'll show it really quickly. Yes, Danny, you can definitely DM me for rings. Um, can't promise that I will get to that tonight. But I will definitely do it tomorrow. So, for Mentor Mentor, Rainbow Garnet, this is the cluster. I think I showed that last week. I do have quite a bit of this. These are the same ones that I had available last week. I think I got cut off in the middle of showing these. This is a nice single. These are all from Japan. Um, I definitely have more of these that I can show in the future as well. Thanks, Danny. Have a good night. So that one's four fifty four. That one's thirty bucks. And this one is a much bigger crystal. It's pretty big for a single from Japan. That one's forty bucks. The rainbow, hmm, that is a good question. I don't know if I can answer that off the top of my head, what causes a rainbow. Uh, for Mentor Mentor, are you talking about this this one or the big one? There's that one. getting your messages you're, you're definitely not coming through very good but we've got multiple phones here so for mentor mentor i've got to tell you hard to tell you know the smaller one has a better rainbow to be honest this one is sort of a gold color less less rainbowy bigger size that one's 453 454 has more color play i think Okay, she switched to 454. All right, we got you there. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, again, your comment, one of your comments didn't come through, the one with the numbers in it. I wonder if spelling it out, F-O-U-R, 
F-I-F-T-Y-F-O-U-R might be a, a way to beat the bots or to beat the shadow ban situation. No worries. No worries about switching. That's why we're here. Make sure you get what you want. Make sure you see what you like. So if anybody's new, we got this Moldavite bracelet. Yep, 454, we got you. Our next live. Um, you know, I, I'm not really sure. I, I'm not convinced that Sunday night is the night that I want to do it every night, every week. Um, I'm, we're still... Yeah, I got you. This uh, four fifty four. The spelling definitely worked. Uh, we, you know, I almost did this on Saturday night, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. First of all, we weren't ready, and uh, second of all, I kind of felt like there was. I don't know if it's true, but I don't feel like there's as much people online on Saturday night. It's kind of like you know, for people that work during the week, like Friday night, maybe they get home and they're tired and they spend some time online. They don't want to go out. And then Saturday night is the night that they go out because if they go out drinking or they go out having fun, they can stay up late. They have all day Sunday to sleep and recover. And so I feel like Saturday night may not be the best night. And I'm not, you know, by all means, I don't know if that's like a generalization that's true, but it seems like a lot fewer Instagram sellers actually sell on Saturday night, so I kind of just had a hunch that that might be why. Thanks for Mentor Mentor. Have a great night. We'll get you an invoice tomorrow, and we'll get your stuff out quickly. <clears throat> um, Native Beach Bum, to answer your question still, I, I think in two weeks we're probably going to do two nights a week. And the reason I say that is because uh, Shirley is going to be joining us, and I think that we're going to have to put her through the ringer. <laughs> no, I just uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of people that sell during the week, and we might do two nights a week. We've got plenty of stock. It's more about getting the stock ready. Uh, thanks, Jay Condry. Uh, accurate assumption about Saturday nights. I definitely agree. I see a lot of people that are actually doing a lot during the week. Is there any way you can throw a piece of citrine in my box trying to avoid shipping if possible? Shipping twice. Shipping two? Two? Two nights, yes. Yeah, we're going to do two nights. Um, can you be more clear about throw a piece of citrine in my box? Avoid two shippings if possible. Just not Thursdays, please. Um, sure, not a problem. We don't really know what we're going to do. I mean, if we're going to do Sunday nights, I guess, you know, I mean, we're, it's all still so new that we're kind of just playing by ear. Like, if we're going to do one night a week, I, it seems like there's a lot of people that sell on Monday nights. And I don't necessarily know if that's good or bad. Um, there's obviously more competition and there's more people that are buying some time. And um, yeah, Native Beach Bum, we have some citrine. Um, I think obviously I don't really have a lot of time to show it tonight, but if you want to DM me, we can add that to your package before it goes out. Um, so if you want to, I'd love to order I'll put it with this order. Yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, if you do, you need me to show you something privately. Do you want to pull it off of my Etsy? Uh, if you haven't been to our Etsy, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I do have citrine. I have crystals. Uh, I have some tumbles. Just send me a direct message, Native Beach Mom, and we'll make sure you get some citrine before we get your order out. Yeah. Are we having people do the sign up again? I don't even. Need to go through I don't know. Maybe we should just direct message. What we ought to do is the new method. We ought to create the orders because it doesn't require any custom. We should just create the order so and just go with the new. Us. Yeah, and just create the links and just like. I mean, it might be. It's. 
Yeah, I'm still alive right now. It's all good. We're almost done, so. Large thin off Etsy would be rad. Um, make sure you send me that in a direct message because I actually make a note on Native Beach Mom's order that she wants a large thin citrine off of Etsy to add to her order. Yeah, we're going to have a, a different type of uh, uh, invoicing system. I think we're going to go directly through Shopify and create listings for you all, and we'll go from there. Uh, and back to what nights, I'm not really sure. It might it might gradually shift. We might do Friday nights. I'm not really sure if it's the best approach, but I think, uh, you know, people that work during the week, they come home on Friday, they have time off, they're tired from the week, they might just want to stay online instead of going out. So that might be a good night. Lizzie Palmer, Moldavite rings. Yes, we have lots of Moldavite rings. Here, Ralph, we take that. Actually, let's just put this over here. Put that on top of there. Um, let me show you these rings. We have a couple of different styles of Moldavite rings that we didn't show tonight. Um, but this, these are the simple ones. So these are, this is our mini rings, and these are $60 a piece. We have them all the way from size four to size 10. And there's round and there are ovals. And if you buy a Moldavite ring, we send you a little Moldavite chip for free. So this is type one, Lizzie Palmer. If you want one of these, uh, tell me the ring size that you need and whether you want a round or an oval and say type one. Uh, those are faceted. Type two is raw. And we have those from size six to size 10 as well. And they look like this. Most of them are rounds. I mean, sorry, most of them are ovals. And the majority of them are in this style. There's not a lot of teardrops. They're mostly ovals. Teardrop seemed to seem to be popular tonight. So that's type two, Lizzie Palmer. So if you want to claim one, you can say type one, type two with your ring size and your shape preference, and we'll show you something. We've only got five more minutes before Etsy kicks us off. You, those of you that shop regularly, is that something that you know about that's normal? Like after four hours, they cut you off? Like do other dealers have that happen to them? Because we had that happen last week, and then we Googled it, and it said, yeah, there's a maximum of four hours, and then they allow you back on for an hour to, like, wrap it up if you need to. And I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, so if any of you guys have more experience with that, and you could chime in, that would be great. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cut it off, and you can sign right back on. Okay, well, last week, you know, we got cut off, and then we turned it back on, and it was just frozen, and it wouldn't let us really come back on. So, how you guys feel? You guys done? Nicole wants to go to bed. <laughs> Raph's ready to go to bed. I think we're going to, um, I think we're going to call it quits for the night, guys. If you got any like super, super last minute requests, we've got four minutes before they kick us off and I don't think we're gonna come back on um, because we're on East Coast time and we all get up early and the people who are helping me are complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Just go Again. drink some coffee. <laughs> Sam Bryan, type 1, 6A claim. Awesome. Type 1, 6A claim. Super. You're the man, Sam. You have been the customer of the evening. I'm very grateful for you. And we will give you another Moldavite chip. All right. Three minute countdown. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We're really grateful. This has been a great show. Still have a small following, but hopefully it'll grow. And we look forward to seeing you next week. 
we will definitely be making plenty of announcements about when we will do the live show. Uh, thank you. Goodbye, Native Beach Bum. Have a great night. Uh, I won't be turning the camera back on when they kick me off. So, you guys have been great, and we're really grateful for you. And we couldn't do it without you. And there's Nick. Nick, we need to work on Shopify. <laughs> Wait, where's Nick? He just sent a little heart. No, that's me. Oh, that's Nicole. Never mind. <laughs> that's Nicole. There... I mean, I am a Nick. Well, yeah, you're the same Nick. All right. Everybody's dropping out because we're dropping out too. So thank you guys. Good night. Thank you. We'll see you next week. We'll let you know when we're coming on. And we'll make sure to bring a bunch of new rocks. Hey, it gives me a two-minute countdown. That's kind of cool. If you guys have any requests for next week, uh, send me a DM or make a comment on any of our posts that we post during the week. Alrighty. Over and out. You guys have a good night. Thank you so much.